Hi and welcome everyone. It's Brian from Captain Savage Aquatics. Just doing a late night stream. Uh, I got some new fish in the fish room. I'm gonna go over uh, future plans for the fish room. Um, kind of reiterate on like uh, what's going on, stuff like that. Uh, just give me one second. I'm trying to figure out why one of my cameras isn't working. Uh, let's see. Main camera properties. No filters. Properties. Uh, deactivate, activate. No, difficult device. Okay. Now, where is the main camera? Carson's Quam. No, I'm awake. Hi, Captain. Uh, Let's see, Gary's Aquatics is in the house. Welcome, Gary. Cat, uh, Carson's Aquarium's in the house. Hey, family, awake. Hey. Alan Queen says, happy. Uh, hi, Captain. Carson's Aquarium says, do you keep guppies? Yes, I do. I have a lot of fancy guppies. Um, I'm just trying to work on my... Which one is this? Is that my main camera? Yeah, it looks like it. So let me do this. Even though it says the right camera. One second, it's gonna get big, large, and in charge. Um, let me just sh actually let me do that. Um, give me a second. You guys are gonna lose the camera for a sec. Remove. Thank you. Um, plus. So let's see, main camera properties. Let's remove that one too. Remove. Upside town, downtown. Hey, just thought of having a light in the middle of your two tanks. You would actually maximize light uses. Do you sell guppies? I'm in the process of setting up a website so I can sell them, but. If you want to PM me, I can show you what I have. Uh, forewarning you, they were mixed guppies when I originally got them, but uh, there's no specific traits I'm working on right now, so I'd be more than willing to send some guppies out. Yes. Uh, just give me a sec. Doing another video capture device. Add existing my camera. Okay. So this is my main camera. Let me just move that down so it's under everything. There we go. So, sorry if it's a little distorted. I'm gonna see if I can't resize this a little bit. There we go. Uh, so let me get work on the right camera. So rename that one. Why is it not letting me right camera? I'm just gonna put main main camera two. Save that. Plus, let's do another video capture and do the main. Okay. Actually, let me just remove that line completely. Remove. Yep. Plus, I'll read your comments in a second. Pro Tim Aquatics, welcome, welcome. Um, let's do new uh, let's do the other one. There we go. Put that camera up here, shrink that down. Let me There we go. Sorry if the main camera is a little screwed up. Let me uh, go to properties and see if I can't set custom resolution. It's going to be 1920 by 1080p. Uh, video format is going to be MPEG. Okay. Uh, full. 709. Okay. Whoa. Holy moly. That's big. 
Let me shrink that main camera a little bit. Sorry, I don't mean to be doing this on the live stream, guys. Screw it. I mean, let's put me in the middle <laughs> and be done with it. Gonna love how the camp main camera's picking up on that. Uh, I don't like that. Let me shrink it some more. Sorry, I'm just trying to customize this to the window size. There we go. Not bad. Perfect. Oh, let's see. Let's go back up. Iron Queen's in here. Dubrex21 says, Hey, Captain. I let, two, uh, let go of two of my small bristlenose, my six-foot tank, and I'm not seeing them for almost a week. Should I be concerned? I wouldn't say so. Uh, bristlenose are more nocturnal. They'll hide out. I mean, even in my five-foot-long tank behind me, unless they're stuck to the front of the glass, I hardly ever see them, or they're on the wood. I hardly ever see them. Um, I wouldn't be concerned. They'll eat, uh, especially if you have driftwood in there and you're feeding them. Uh, DPK's in the house. How you doing, Ca uh, Carlos? Uh, Carson's Aquariums. Do I sell guppies? I don't know. Do you? I, I'm planning on selling them. Upside Town, Downtown says, hey, this thought. Uh, yeah, I already read that. Do you sell guppies? Yes, I do. Everyone's saying hi, DPK. Hi. How much would they be each? Well, I'd rather sell them in a trio because, you know... Or what you're looking for. I mean, if you're just looking for all males or females, that depends. I'll sell them in, like, trios for three of them. So that's two females, one male. Um, probably for uh, 12 to $15. Probably close to the 15 and That's not including shipping. So I don't know what a flat rate box is right now. I have to re research it. I have the paperwork somewhere with my numbers. Um, but it all depends. After a certain amount depending on how many you want it'd probably be free shipping um dpk says hi island jonas aquarium says hey guys uh dpk says hi d, uh, d hello everyone down the wormhole says hi hey island pro tim aquatic says joined fish tropic says hey it's savage one plus one equals fish. Quax, how you doing, Christian? Uh, uh, Carlos is doing good. D just finished cleaning the twenty-gallon bow front. Carson's Aquarium says I've had a major guppy disaster in the past few days. All of them got fin rot and lost four of my male pa purple Moscow's. See, I don't have any specialty lines like those. I am going to. Um, I'm looking into buying like. Uh, red Moscow's, black Moscow's, that stuff. Getting particular ones and then breeding them up from there. Um, Dubrex 21's, I have to thank those who are here that have helped support me. I just reached 200 subs. Yeah, no problem, uh, Dubrex 21 or Rexy 21. Uh, Carlos says, Hi, Christian. What's up with the sound? What do you mean, what's wrong with the sound? I don't understand. Uh, please give me more info. New England and uh, Endler says hello. Let me make sure I'm subbed to you, because I do that. And if you're not already subbed to everyone in the channel, make sure you hit them up. Why is why is my keyframe frequency different? Hold on a second, guys. Uh, I'll put recording. Audio bit rate, I don't know. It says 208. Apply. My sound might be a little messed up, guys, just because um, I'm doing through this through Wi Fi. My modem, actually, the new modem up business modem I got, uh, the Ethernet ports don't work, and normally I'm hardwired right into the modem. So they're supposed to come out Friday unless I go to the place down the street tomorrow um, and do that. Uh, 
So New, uh, New England Angular, I am already subbed to you. Uh, there was someone else that was new in here. Carson, I'm pretty sure I'm subbed to you. Let me just double check. Pro Tim, I'm just making sure I didn't miss anyone. Uh, Keyframe frequency is 8.2. Note that, uh, I don't know what that note says. Uh, for four seconds or less, currently the keyframes are not sent often enough. Bad video settings. I don't know. I might close this down because I don't, I don't know. Is it buffering for you guys? Video and audio is good? Okay. I was messing with settings for my, when I was gaming and for recording and all that. Uh, so let me change that. Frames, key frames, let me turn that to two. Apply, okay. Uh, so, sounds fine. Gaddy's Aquatic says, what's up, fish fan? Figure I'd lurk while editing. Cool, thank you for lurking. I, pr I like lurkers. They help out the channel. All right, so Carson, I am sub to you. Um, Lumpy Dogs in the house. Gaddis Aquatics. Um, that looks like a pretty unique name. I am sub to you. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so let's see. Sounds good to me. Uh, Dub Rexy, thanks for subbing. Lumpy in the house. Gaddis. Uh, do, 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 do. White is in the house. Hello, DPK bro and everyone. What's up, White? How you doing, buddy? Deep, uh, Carlos says, uh, nothing is wrong. Oh, same with Christian. In the in the creek, I gotta go. Is a tree that grew in a pool. It's roughly 2K gallons, and the trunk is at water line, allowing spacing below it. Gary's Aquatics says, okay, I'm back. So... So welcome, welcome everyone. Let me go back to basic info. So it looks okay on my end. Um, thank you again, everyone that's in here. I truly appreciate the support. I know I haven't streamed in a few days. I had to take a break and uh, I was editing videos. Uh, I have those scheduled to come out over the next few days um, with new changes and stuff. Uh, let's see. I got some new fish in the fish room. Um, unfortunately, I'm not streaming for my cell phone. Otherwise, I'd show you them. Um, but you'll just have to wait till they come out on the video. I can tell you what I got anyways. Um, just so you know, my son, while we were at PetSmart the other day, I picked up some uh, Neon Tetras. I picked up uh, 15 of them because they were only a buck a piece because they were doing it for Valentine's or whatever you want to call it. Um... Just because I haven't, I haven't had Neon Tetras in a while, I figured they added some uh, different color to uh, you know to one of my tanks. Um, my son picked up, uh, he wanted, uh, what is that, Ankara Cichlid. I think it's an African Cichlid, but it was like 25 bucks. So I convinced him on getting uh, a couple angels that are probably three inches in size from, or I don't know, I want to say a 50 cent piece in body size. Uh, those are my 22 bow front with the uh, Australian rainbows and the German blue rams. Uh, I know that's more fish. I did add a second filter to that. Um, I picked up a three gallon like um, I want to say it's an Aquion kit. I can't remember. A three gallon. It was 20 bucks. You know, for the light, the everything, the filter. It was more of an internal filter like what you'd see for a turtle tank or a small uh, thing but it does up to 10 gallons so or whatever I have that currently in the 22 bow front on the side so it doesn't look all that hot but whatever um, the angels doing great they almost look like koi angels one of them or marbled one's a mar looks like marbled and the other one's koi uh, looks like a koi one to me so they're actually doing all right um, no one's messing around with them um, Ah, oh, sweet Akara. Yeah, I was gonna pick up the Akara, but for twenty-five bucks, uh, a little bit more than I want to spend. 
you know, with that 25 bucks, I bought a little three gallon um, kit, like Aquilon kit. Comes with the LED light, like uh, I want to say it's a 6500K light for the three gallon, and I figure I could put uh, grow outs of the different guppies I want in there, or any angel fry eventually when they do start to spawn um, in there. Uh, let's see. You haven't showed the new fish yet, have you? No, I'm not going to show them on the live stream. Um, I'd have to start streaming from my phone, and I don't know how that would interact. I mean, I could do the start a new stream from my phone, and I'll have two of them going at the same time. I got the bandwidth. Uh, with the business class, I have 30 megs up, three or f almost 400 down. So, yeah, I could definitely do that. No problem. Um, I can do that on a different thing. I just don't want two separate streams going at the same time. Uh, let's, Carson's Aquarium says I'm back too. White says I'm all good here, Brian. Thanks. Brian, hope you're good. I'm good. It was an interesting day at work, but nothing too bad. Uh, DP, or Carlos says you're... Uh, yeah, you're right, Gary. He haven't. It hasn't. Sweet Akara. Oh, man. You got angels? Hell yeah. Yeah, honestly, I've been looking at angels, and I figure that I'm eventually going to actually move the German Blue Rams and the Australian um, Rainbow Fish out of there. I have a 55. Maybe I'll move the actual angel fish into the 55 that I'm going to set up. Um, so, yeah, uh, they're doing fine. I mean, uh, I know that's a bigger uh, bio load for the 22 bow front. But the, with the amount of Java moss and Christmas moss and Java window lobe and the uh, sword that I have grown in there and all the snails, I'm not worried about it. I just I check the TDS a couple times a week, anyways, to see if I need to change the water. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gary's Aquatics says I bought ten neon tetras and ten black neon tetras last week. Yeah, they're doing that sale all the way through, uh, what's this coming weekend's holiday? I can't remember what holiday it is this weekend. But there's going to have a sale, so I'm going to go back there and check. Um, I want to... I put in an order for five 20 longs there. Uh, Aquion 20 longs. And they gave me a better deal than what was online. Or I did it through online. Uh, or I asked them if I could do it through online and whatever. Um, so I'll have 520 lungs coming in. They're going to get set up right here on this rack level right here. And this rack's 48 inches wide. I think the, uh, what is it, 10 and a half inches wide or 11 inches wide. Um, so I'll try to, I'll just, if I have to, I'll get a piece of plywood, like one inch plywood that's waterproof plywood and put it there and add supports. And I'm going to put five tanks right on this shelf right here. Um, I'm leaving the shelf here. I decided I don't want to move it. It's going to be too much of a pain. And after I removing it once, I really don't want to do it again. So it's staying here. Um, so I'm just trying to think what else is going on. Uh, let's see. Upside says I'm going, uh, going my pace. I have a lot of information to go big the fish hobby uh christian says i'm lurking that's okay i like lurkers it's all good uh let's see uh so i got those 10 neon i also picked up uh 15 ghost shrimp i put them in the pleco tank um with those uh three other pleco caves that i got uh for aqua bid which are awesome they're like a natural slate tile so they look nice um really well done i'm actually gonna pick up more of them the, they're about this wide so i want to say the opening's probably uh two or three by three so some big plecos can get in there how deep is the rack cappy uh the rack is uh 24 inches deep it's two feet wide so i know a 20 long is what 30 inches i'm not really worried about the extra hanging off because you're talking what six inches you know what I mean? No big deal. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get plywood, like three-quarter inch plywood, and I'm going to cut it to fit the rack. That way, the ends have something to sit on. But that means this rack's 24, right? 
that means I'd be taking, if you can see my hand on my camera, I'd be taking it out this much further. But I'll do it up higher uh, where it's out of my way. Uh, Carlos says, hi, Susan. Upside says, I've rented a room and uh, a room and board. The rooms are basically as big as Brian's kitchen. We had uh, to enjoy having a sleep with, with a sink. Yep. Gary's Aquatic says, now you just need to find somewhere for all the crap on that rack. Laugh out loud. Actually, all the stuff that's on here, I'm probably going to put it on the top of the rack for like dry goods and stuff like that. Otherwise, I only have 155 on the bottom. I might throw it behind the 55 and put it in front. Um, I do look at the African cichlids, um, but not all that much lately. So they may get a new home out in the kitchen um, when I actually build that table I want to build. And I'll build a bottom support beam and I'll put the 55 down below in my kitchen um, next to the heater. So that'll be good. Uh, Gaddis Aquatic says, I'll be changing my channel name as soon as my 90 days is up. Do you think Gaddis Aquariums and Reptiles would be better than my current? Honestly, what, what's that Gaddis Aquatics? I, if you want to put in reptiles, I mean, I'm planning on keeping turtles here shortly. Um, I'm just trying to find a person that doesn't want $100 per uh, juvie turtle for the Diamondback Terrapins, which is a little unrealistic. I, I got hatchlings for 40 or 50 bucks. Just that person I went to through Facebook um, is taking a little break. He said, if I haven't in 30 days, um, he said to recontact him. And that was last week, so I put it on notification in my phone because I bought uh, five for 300 bucks with shipping, which isn't bad. Um, so when I set up that pond, I will definitely be getting those guys in there. Look, uh, ha, ha, kind of like a holding tank. Yep. Uh, you can do a 15 long. will fit perfect. I was thinking about that, but that's a, a size PetSmart doesn't keep. And I'm not sure where I can get those. And I'm very hesitant to have those shipped. Because I've heard horror stories of uh, glass tanks getting shipped to people. And they're shattered when they show up. Maybe do a few 20 tall. I could do that. What's up, Slashmaster? I breed Leopold geckos. And I have a couple other reptiles. Cecilia's Hobbies is in the house. Welcome, welcome, Cecilia. Wow, 18 people. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. It's awesome. Um, and if you guys don't see me on this channel, look in the description. You can find my gaming channel. Uh, Carlos was actually hanging it out in it the other night. I do do gaming, and I have a bunch of info coming out on tech stuff, which I think I'm going to start with, like... Uh, Based on where my channel's sitting, almost at 700 subs, or getting very close to 700 subs, um, I'm just gonna do some videos. I know it's gonna be like what I was already out there, in my opinion, how to gain subs and what I've learned over the last year, two years of doing this. And I know consistency is the big one. Uh, hi, DEA, so Susan. Petcos carry them, Cappy. My, uh, I the closest Petco to me is in, uh, um, Vermont. So, the thing is, I gotta weigh the cost out because I'd have to take the ferry, and the ferry's twenty four dollars round trip. You know, uh, make you up. Susan says, make sure you sub each other. It's helping out the fish family. Um, hi Gary. What am I only the, the only game in town tonight? Streaming live. Surprise, I'm happy. 17, 18 people in here. Um, Chronicles of the of Chris's Fish Room says, hello, everyone. Uh, Carlos says, hi, Chronicles. Susan says, hi, uh, 674 cap. Yeah, and honestly, Susan, it's because I haven't been subbing to the smaller aquatic channels lately that are in the hobby. Uh, that's how I picked up, like, 100 subs over a week, 125 in a week. Um... So, yeah, I'm all about supporting the other uh, fish fam. Uh, Cecilia's Hobby said, uh, Subject Gaddis Aquatics. Gary Aquatics says, Hey, Lumpy Dog, you still here? Um, 
down the wormhole and says, Hey, Chron at Chronicles of Christus Fish Room. Uh, D DPK asks, Am I doing planted tanks? Funny you say that off of Aqua Bit. I got uh, some more plants, plants that I haven't had. I picked up Val, um, Val Scenaria, some other types of Anubius. I'm going to actually have probably all my tanks planted when I get them all set up, like get the rack set up after I do all the plumbing because I want to have an auto uh, water change for them. Um, if they're 20 longs, I figure two gallons a day, you know, 10% a day for each tank. But I have to have a, like a reservoir tank, you know, like that big 50-gallon barrel that I have. I figure I could set up a pump and put the drip in there, you know, uh, with the dechlorinated water just to be safe um, and have it drip. And then I'll set up another thing where it, there's an overflow because I got another pump coming um, to help out with that tank. That way I can turn on both overflows for the 125 behind me. Um, thank you, Susan. I, I was going to do a 650 subs or 600 subs video of thanking everyone, but at this point I'm almost at 700, so I'll do it at 700. Uh, thank you. It means a lot to me, Susan. Gaddis says, thanks. Hey, Fish uh, Tropics. DPK says, sweet. One plus one. You should get Archer Fish. I actually looked at Archer Fish on um, Aquabid. Um, I do something that I don't really want to reveal. I found the puffer I want. And it is get on the way. It's on the, in the process of being shipped to me. It'll be here next Monday. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Susan says, hi, Jeff. Oh, yes, that's a good idea, Christian. What did Christian say? I gotta see. Yep. Archer fish. I actually looked at them. Unfortunately, on Aquabid, um, when things were kind of bad, where I kind of disappeared for a couple months, two, three months, I put in some bids for stuff and totally forgot about them on Aquabid. So a couple of the people that I got stuff from before uh, negatively hit my account because I won the bids, I guess, and I didn't check my emails or anything. Um, hold on. I saw something. Hey, Captain, do I have something? Gary's Aquatic says, do you have any best, guppy, uh, any best guppies in the world? What do you mean? All my guppies are the best guppies in the world, if you need to know. <laughs> Just joking. Um... I have, uh, I don't have any specific lines like Moscow's or anything like that, any direct ones, but I do have certain males and females that I am breeding in separate 10-gallon tanks that are pretty sharp looking. I just haven't showed them on a live stream or on any of my videos because until I like where they're at, I don't want to sell them. Um, but if people are interested in some guppies, I got guppies. I have about 500 of them in my fish tanks so maybe get some rare rainbows in the f future and breed them i want to get the um it's like an eight or twelve uh, eight or ten dollar fish at pet smart the uh it's not australians because australians are cheap they're more common i'm trying to remember the rainbow but it's, it's it's a fairly common uh rainbow but i'm looking at other rainbows to get them Um, the sounds good there. Uh, sound is good here, Cappy. Okay. Uh, one, uh, Christian says I'm going to make a thank you video when I hit a hundred. Christian, you're still not at a hundred. Come on, let's pe let's pe uh, people let's get them up to a hundred. Anyone that's not subbed up to Christian or one plus one equals fish aquatics. Um, Cecilia's hobby says hi, fish tropic. Turbo Fish says, hey, Captain. Hey, how you doing, Turbo? DPK says, oh, I'll get rare rainbows. Looking for a... Lumpy Dog says, looking for an expensive driftwood on Amazon. I'm so cheap. Honestly, Lumpy, if it was close... If it was springtime or close to the start of summer, I would just say, what, what are you looking for? I mean, I can go to some of the lakes here, get clean up some uh, driftwood. Like, oh, cardwood driftwood, birch 
really hard woods that I've put in my 125 behind me. I got uh, Mopani in there. I got uh, pretty much Mopani and then uh, oak type driftwood in my tank. Hard, hard wood stuff that I'd, I'd clean up for people and give them a quick uh, sanding and stuff like that if anyone's interested in that. Uh, let's see. Whoa, there's a lot of people. 20, this, I'm almost to my highest I've ever had in here. 23 watching. Queen Bee says, how's all the fishes? They're great. I picked up some new ones. Um, hi, Terrible. Hi, Susan. Hi, Cecilia. Permeth, uh, permeth, uh, ah, blah, 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 tongue twister. Permeth Aquatic says, hi, everyone. Slashmaster says, hi, Fish Tropic. Cecilia's Hobby says, I subbed you. One plus one. Uh, Susan says, her permeth, hi. Wow, 500. What? Guppies? Yeah. Uh, in my 10 gallon of my uh, bedroom, I have like 50 in that tank, roughly. Uh, so I have to do water change quite often. Uh, I'm so cheap, I make my own, laugh out loud. Yep. Like I said, if it was closer to the summer, I'll get a whole huge stockpile where it's pre watered. You know what I mean? Where it's actually sitting like right off the beach in the water like around a dam air type area that's been a, now a lake i'll get like hardwood oaks and stuff like that uh, i love the t slash master says i love the tank in the background yeah that's my 125 cichlid tank um kind of koi tank pleco tank convict tank um severum tank it's amazing. Jonas Aquarium says, Haha, I'm only at 15. Well, there's 24 people watching. If they're not sh subbed up to you, I'm sure they'll sub up to you. Uh, DPK Fish Aquarium says, Good deal for Manz Manzita Wood. I want that. Uh, I, I wonder if it's the Manzita where it's like the branches. I want to get some of those in there and get like some booze or something like that on there. A hardier plant that the cichlids and the koi won't try and eat. Um, Prometh says, Bye. Everyone, I'm going to the office. All right, Permeth, thanks for stopping in. Jimmy H. Fishes is in, uh, in the house. Hi, everyone. Wow, this is a lot to keep up with the chat. Uh, Susan says, have a blessed day, Permeth. Gara's Aquatic say same here, Turbo Fish. Been a long day. Had to come home and do water changes and acclimatize the new f fish, Turbo Fish. Everyone's saying, hi, Jimmy. What'd you get, Gary? Academia Aquatica is in the house. I have arrived. Wait, you haven't moved the shelves yet? No, they're not getting myths. Yeah, uh, Turbofish, Cap, Bozmani, Rainbows. Those are the ones I want to pick up next. Um, I just want to get a bigger tank because I think my 22 gallons bow front's kind of capped on the fish right now. Otherwise, I mean, I could add more fish, but the um, I'm more worried about aggression. You know? What's up, Kang Lee? Long time no see. Wow. Everyone's in the house tonight. I want some uh, Bozmani rainbows. But I want to get the fifty other uh, 55 set up. Um, wow, Kang. Been a long time. How you doing, buddy? Slashmaster says, I hit 230 subs today. Congrats on that. Believe it or not, you'll hit 250 before you know it. 300 and 500 is not that far away. Queen by uh, B waves. Kang Lee says, "What's up?" Hi Aquatica, congrats, Slash Master. Hey Kang Lee, hi you Kang. Whoa, twenty six. I think that's the. Uh, I'm right at my record at one time. Twenty six watching. So for anyone that's just joining, the new fish that I got, I got a. Uh, like some assorted uh, angelfish. One looks like a koi angelfish, and the other one looks kind of like a marble between a marble and a koi. Uh, my son wanted them, but he was trying to get me to get a Kara cichlid, but I wasn't going to pay 25 bucks. I had my eye on the uh, three gallon complete setup tank. Um, so I convinced him to get the angels. I'm trying to, I'm going to do a live stream with him or create a video where he names them. And stuff like that. Academic Aquatica says countdown to 750 subs. 76 more to go. Yeah, only 76. 
if I start subbing more people and uh, stuff like that, I could probably have 76 in three days. But I gotta wait. I gotta be careful because I don't want to hit it too soon. Because I know when I want to do the giveaway for the Amazon gift cards. Um, oh yeah, so I might as well do the plug. Um, 750 sub giveaway um, is the first place based on comments on the video. It's in the description with the link. Comment as many times as you like. Just don't spam the same word over and over. The more comments you have, the better your chances of winning first place, which is a $25 Amazon gift card. Um, second and third place are going to be two $10 gift cards. Um, that value probably is going to go up. But the person that wins the $25 gift card, I'll give them the option to get like a trio of fancy guppies um, or even possibly some of the, uh, the plecos that I'm breeding. Maybe some of the fry. Um, but I really don't, I'm not going to send fry because it's a little, a little, little, um, I don't know. I haven't shipped fish before, so I don't know how that's going to work. But I'd be willing to ship a, ship a trio of uh, um, fancy guppies because I can always replace those very easily. Um, Gary's Aquatics uh, or DEA, DEA Exotics is in the house. It says, what's up, everyone? Uh, Gary's Aquatics says, I got a hill stream loach and another scarlet badass and a bristle nose pleco turbo fish. Jimmy H. Fishes says, sub, sub, sub. Susan says, Kang Lee, how are those guppies from Thailand? Uh, yeah, the Spiderwood. That's the one I'm looking at. The eBay, the Spiderwood. Um, that's what I want to get for my 125 is the Spiderwood. That's not a bad price. I saw some packs where you can get, um, for like 75 bucks, you can get literally uh, pieces that size. 12 to 16 inches base size you know what i mean kind of circumference in a way a spider wood but there were six or eight pieces to it so that would look awesome in the 125 behind me and the other tanks i'm going to set up once i get some of the smaller uh like boost plants and the other plants i ordered off of aqua bid yesterday um and get those going so i got other anubiuses i got uh some val and other plants i got a bunch of other stuff uh so let me close that uh doo -doo -doo -doo. academia aquatica says sorry didn't actually say hello to everyone so hello nice gary we just got a pair of uh blue rams and six dwarf puffers i also have coming in the mail um 10 more pea puffers um they're gonna be put into a 20 long even i might even set up uh um, maybe like a 30 bow front or so, you know what I mean? Something like that for the puffers or 30 tall or 20 high or something like that. Um, I want something with a big base, maybe a 40 breeder. Um, so yeah. Uh, hi, uh, Jimmy says hi, Academia. Woo! -hoo! New high 27 at one time. Thank you, everyone. That's, that's it. I'm done for the night. I hit 27. Now, whoa, we lost three people all of a sudden. No. At least uh, got 27 in here. Susan from SLC Aquatics says, hi, Aquatica. I'm so jealous for your puffers, turbo fish, and the, I like blue rams too. Um, I was actually going to pick up German more German blue rams. Um, I have four of them. Unfortunately, I did lose one of them. Um, but I want to do like a... I think I'm going to keep the bow front or move the German blue rams to like a 40 breeder or maybe um, if I can find like a 30 long or something put them in there maybe a shorter you know like only like a 20 inch high tall tank tops but like 3 feet long you know 12 inches wide or something uh Oh, yep. Yeah. Ooh. Hoo hoo. 27. Yeah, I jumped to 27, and then all of a sudden it said, okay, I'm done. 27, it drops to 23. It's okay, Cappy. We saw 27. You have witnesses. Hi, Mark. Oh, Mark's in the house? Sweet. Mark's Ark's Aquarium. Welcome, welcome, brother. 
I um so that puffer. I know you guys have probably heard me on all the live streams and stuff. If you were here, you would know what it is. But I I got uh, I ordered a fajaca, and it'll be here next m Monday. It's a two or three inch fajaca puffer. Um, so yeah, my plans this weekend that one twenty five. Actually, I got a forty breeder that I'm gonna put it in. Um, so. Uh, I just have to get clear off my microwave and I'm going to put the 40 breeder stand. I'm actually going to do something with this corner and finally get this uh, thing out of here this weekend. That way I can get the 40 breeder up and running completely. Um, I may throw it in the 125 but put a piece, a piece of acrylic in my 125. That way the Fajaca has like, you know, about 50 gallons of water and the other fish can't mess with it. Because it's small, I'm just afraid the big Oscar's gonna mess with it. Um, so yeah, I probably could put it in a 20 long temporarily. Turbo fish is mine is now 10. Yeah, Buffalo dog, Jason. Exciting times! Wow, wow. I I really truly appreciate it, guys. I haven't had over 20 people in a long time. Uh, Gary's Aquatic says, I know, right? Turbo fish, I really want my, I want to stuff my 90 gallon with fancy guppies and neons now that I have them. And I ordered female scarlet baddest for my baddest planted tank, turbo fish. Uh, Jimmy H has just subbed you. Uh, let's see, turbo fish, baddest are good, cool, Gary. Wow, turbo fish, yeah, a Fajaca puffer, yeah. I've wanted one for a while, and I'm going to finally have one. And if you guys can't tell, off camera, Molly. Here, let me turn this one so you can see her. She wants to play. Uh, Queen Biggie says, anyone who subbed me, I subbed them back. Yeah, it's all about helping out the fish fam. And what's this Google Hangouts thing I'm getting? Oh, uh, it's for Big Easy's live stream. Okay. Good night, all. Oh, you're out of here, Lumpy? Take it easy. Thank you, Queen Bee there. Subject, Queen Bee. Bye, Lumpy Dog. Yeah, I have two right now. I want um, maybe two more females, and I will leave that tank alone. Turbo fish, no worries. Night, Lumpy. One day, I will fill my 125 with all male guppies. Honestly, that's been a plan of mine, too. Is this to, get, once I get the pond or whatever I'm going to do set up, um, or a stock tank. I think I'm just gonna get a 150 gallon stock tank and not set up the uh, pond. I'm gonna put nothing but uh, for profit fish in there. This move all my fancy guppies beside the really nice ones that I want to breed out oh, and put them all in that. She missed me. She was being a runt, so I didn't take her to work today over the last few days, waking me up. When I hadn't had much. Oh, I had... Uh, get this, Cecilia. I had a 20 long when I was living at my parents' house going to college. I had a 20 long with probably two or three hundred cherry red shrimp in it. And probably another two or three hundred fancy guppies in it. I was changing the water. Oh, several... Uh, like, a couple times a day. And I didn't have a TDS meter. Oh, Molly, you're gonna hurt my arm. Ugh. So, that'd be cool. Even a 55 would be nice. Uh, yeah, that many guppies. I'm trying to remember the fish. Uh, the one, one kid that was only had 20 subs, now he's got like 3 or 4K. He's got hundreds of guppies in a 55. Hundreds. Probably actually more like a, uh, almost a thousand plus in a 55. That He says millions of guppies in... Of uh, 55 or something like that. Deep uh, Carlo says, I love Molly. She's my favorite doggy. Especially when she chases the plecos. Yep, definitely. I don't like it so much when she chases the plecos, but that's just me. Yeah, she's a, cu uh, a cutie, DPK. It's fun to watch all the like, babies grow. Yeah, you should see my 20 long in the kitchen on the table holy moly i added another filter 
Um, they had one for uh, rated up to 20 gallons. I think it was an Aquilon filter, one of the ones with the LED light on it that blinks when you need to change like the media or whatever when the it's starting to get a little clogged up. I added that, so I have a, um, two Aquions on the 20 long. Um, that one's rated for like 40, a 40 gallon tank. And the other one that I picked up is rated for a 20. And then I have the 40 gallon sponge filter in there. So it's just because I got 15 neons in there. Um, probably, um, eight or 10 super red plecos in there. Uh, I got about five chocolate plecos in there. Um, I got all the fancy guppies. There's probably about 50 or... 100 fancy guppies in the 20 long i pro and i easily have 200 fry in there uh so yeah academia aquatica says cappy what kind of cameras are you using i'm shopping and i need ideas all right the camera that's mainly on me that i'm pointing at right now that is a logitech 920 c i want uh, and that does 30 frames a second it's really good quality if you can't tell and then this one is a Logitech. Hold on, let me look. Let me check it out. Uh, where is it? Let me go to that one. No right camera properties. And that's uh, Logitech Quick Cam Pro uh, 9000. I think that's a 720p camera at 30 frames a second. Um, so yeah. Um, I do want to upgrade both these cameras. I want to get the um, at least the 60 frames a second camera up top or even a 4K camera for the main one viewing me. And then I move this 1080p to this other one. My ultimate goal is once I get this fish room how I want it, I'm going to install cameras and kind of do like uh, what Corey does, how he has a Murphy camera. I'm going to set up cameras where people can see the fish all the time. And I'm just going to make... Uh, when I'm not um, live streaming, people can watch it still. So you'll see me moving around even though I'm gaming. Um, so uh, me personally, uh, who was looking for like? Oh yeah, and I have quarries in that tank too. Um, Academia, uh, Academia Aquatica. Um, so I'd go with the logic tech cameras. Honestly, it's whatever camera that you currently use now since this is a PC and I have monitors I have the camera sitting on top of them uh, for obvious reason I actually have a third camera that is a 1080p, but it's like 15 or 20 frames a second or something It's an older one So I, I at one point I had three cameras set up where it was one was overlooking where the rack is right now the 55 um, I just don't have it plugged in um, so yeah uh, yeah fish tank HD wallpaper yep that's right Carlos I I was one of his first subs um, so yeah for a really cool kid I actually had him in the stream a couple times when I first started streaming for the channel uh, let's see guppies and a 55 would be crazy Cecilia's hobbies oh my god I change water three times a week I have snails and quarries in the tank too I also have snails in that 20 long. Um, Susan says, getting sleepy, nighty night. Thank you, Susan. Have a blessed night and have a blessed week. And you'll be at 1,000 subs sooner than later. Congrats again on your 700 subs, Susan. If you're still here. Uh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, getting sleepy. Uh, Gary's Aquatic says, Thank you, uh, thanks, Turbo Fish, but still love your fish more. Laugh out loud. See, uh, oh, wow, sounds great. Night, Susan. Night, Susan. Uh, Academia Aquatica says, Right back at you, Mark's Arts Aquarium. Hi, Turbo. Night, Cecilia. Night, Susan. Good night, Susan, says everyone. So we're down to 19, but that's cool. I still appreciate that. Um, so um, I will be picking up probably those rainbows if not this week yeah let me turn this back to where it belongs um a little bit more that way um other things i'm gonna do is i want to upgrade my streaming equipment so I'm, i have three monitors but i'm gonna get 
I actually a monitor kit where I can have like four or six monitors so I can have two up high, two down below, because I can go up in height where my computer currently is now, and um, stop drinking that tote water. Damn it. At least she's getting some roughage with the uh, duckweed that's in there. Um, so I want to get a stand for the monitors, but I have to pick up a couple more monitors. I might actually just replace all these. I saw f monitors online for uh, Asus or uh, Asus uh, monitors, which I like. Good brand. Um, gaming type monitors, so I want to get four of those and get the stand. Um, so yeah, that'll be cool. Academia Aquaticus says I got one built into my laptop, which is fine for a live stream. When I eventually get there, I'm going to sh uh, shop for a camcorder for my tanks and DIY stuff. Um, Queen Bay says, awesome seeing everyone supporting one another. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. There's about 20 adults, the rest are juvies and babies. Academic, uh, Academia Aquaticus says, thanks, Gary. Gotcha as well. Gary's Aquatic says, crazy dog cap. Laugh out loud. Yep. Um, Academic, uh, Academia Aquatica says, Queen Bee, I can't find you unless you're in London. Laugh out loud. Uh, Mark's Arcs Aquarium says, uh, Subject Queen Bee. Very cool. So, uh, yeah, sub it up. I mean, I, I'm not one for uh, subbing, uh, doing a sub for sub, but I'll sub, su sub for sub for the Fish Fam all the time. Um, because I will watch, I actually make an effort when I'm not streaming um to um view all the people I'm subscribed to I try I, there's no possible way I can do because I'm subbed to over a thousand people I think now that I can physically watch a thousand videos in a week just not enough time with live streaming doing video content but I try to swap every week and do a new channel or new 15 or 20 channels each week so uh, that way every couple weeks i'm getting to people's videos and leaving comments and stuff like that uh, uh let's see gary's aquatic says no problem uh, academia when you're going to up uh to upload some content uh, queen bee says i'll sub back uh, Cecilia's Hobby says my cats drink tank water, haha. -ha. Yeah, I'm not worried about Molly drinking the water, but I, I did put dechlorinator in the tanks recently, or especially my totes. So, I know that that stuff really doesn't gas off, but it says right on the thing, could, can cause cancer. And as it is, Molly, her type of breed, does do get cancer, so I don't want to, uh, increase her things. Um... Mark's Arcs Aquarium says, I do try and watch everyone's videos, but it's hard. Yeah, same here. Um, so I try to do it. Now, I do have the, like, fa like honestly, everyone has their favorites, people they like to watch and see what's going on. So key people, uh, I would say there's probably 15 or 20 that I, no matter what, I watch everything they put out. <laughs> um, so I do watch theirs consistently. Um, but I do try to watch everyone else's videos. New England Endler said, all this talk about subs make me hungry. <laughs> That's funny. You're right. Lucky I ate. I had a good dinner tonight. Um, well, I made it myself. It was sandwiches at work, but yeah. Um, uh, Cecilia's Hobby says, I do too. I agree, Mark. Uh, Queen Bee says, yeah, same, Mark. I'm on holidays at the moment, but once I get back, I might... It might be a tad difficult to keep up. Laugh out loud. Academic uh, Academia Aquatica says, Gary's Aquatics, as soon as I have my camera and I get about 30 videos, canned and uh, reliable release schedule. Fish Tropic. You know, big uh, mouth or whatever. Open mouth. Gary's Aquatics says, hey, Cappy, how about uh, breeding sunset guppies in one of your new 20 longs you get? I, I, I'm thinking about that because... The new 20 longs, I'm going to specify um, certain guppies that I'm going to put in there to breed. Uh, most of the dechlorinators, if you actually read on them, that's why it says... I thought it was dechlorinators. I might be wrong, though. Hold on. 
I got the API from the local fish place because I'd rather use safe, but I ran out of that stuff. So let's see. Uh, I was reading on one of them um, that it says it might cause cancer to humans, but I, I assume that would be the same in fish. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. It, the, this bottle doesn't say it, but some of them do, which I need a new bottle soon because I've been changing so much water lately. <laughs> As I knock all the cans on that I, uh, from the gaming live streams I've done over the last few days. Uh, I wouldn't say it's good for fish marks, arcs, aquariums. I read it somewhere. I could be wrong. Don't take that with a grain of sand or salt or whatever you want to call it. Um, Seals Hobby says, haha, at New England Adler. Um, Gary's Aquatic says, sound good at uh, Academia. I can't wait. Academia Aquatica says, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, homemade honey, soy, chicken wings all night. Gaddis Aquatic says, I've been doing daily videos for a few weeks now. That's how I started. Um, doing. I was doing videos like every day and I was staying up late and hardly getting any sleep. As it is, I don't sleep a lot. So... When I'm not streaming or creating video content, and I'm editing videos. And I know I most of my newest content lately has been live streams, which is okay with me. But I do have a lot of videos where ch tanks have changed like several times that I haven't even put the videos out for. So I'm going to put right on it. This is some older videos that I had that I only just finally got edited. <coughs> so... I mean, I have probably have 40 or 50 videos total that um, I, ha I ha need to still be edited, but I'll get around to it eventually. Uh, Cecilia's Hobby says, I don't have to use the de uh, dechlorinator. I just use it every so often because I test my water here, but it comes from well water. The whole town here um, is off well, six wells, but there is lead in the pipes and stuff. So that's the only reason why I use the dechlorinator to try and bind up the heavy metals. That way it, the fish don't get sick, you know what I mean, or get metal poisoning. Um, Mark's Ar uh, I subbed you, Gaddis Aquatic says, Gary. Uh, Mark's Arx Aquarium says, I have to do a water change, I'll be listening. Cool. Uh, one plus one equals fish aquatics. Yo, at Gary's Aquatics, sub you too, uh, I subbed you. Uh, Mark Aquarium says at Gaddis Aquatics I checked your channel and I sub great content. Same uh, Gaddis Aquatics says same here. Uh, Gaddis Aquatics says on the sleep. Yeah. Academia Aquatica says Gaddis Aquatic those kids are adorable. Got you subbed. Gary's Aquatic says thanks one plus one fish I got uh, I got you back. Mark Aquarium says one plus one equals fish aquatics cool new name Christian. Yep. I like the new name. It's cool. It's catchy. It's very catchy. Definitely a great thing. Great name. Um, for anyone that just joined the stream, make sure you check out the description. There's a 750 sub giveaway there. Make sure you comment on that video. Comment many, many times. Um, I have the prize listed there. But for the $25 gift card, um, if someone doesn't want that, that Amazon gift card, and they would rather have like a trio of guppies from me or something like that maybe some plants that i have extras of i'd be willing to do that instead and i'd cover the shipping um or maybe i'll do the 25 dollars amazon gift card and ship out fish i don't know i'm still debating i got some time before i had 750 subs though uh let's see later mark uh says fish tropic um gary's aquatic says i subbed you mark's arc Thanks a bunch, guys. Yep. No problem, Gaddis Aquatics. Uh, Mark Sarks Aquarium says, Hi, Jason. I'm doing one right beside the computer, so I'll still be here. Oh, okay. Cool. <coughs> now that I need to drink more water. Down to 17 now. But that's okay. Um, Gary's Aquatics says, I gotta go fish, fam. You Y'all have a great night, and thanks for all the great content tonight, Cappy. Remember to smash that like button, people. And don't forget to share. 
Sharing is caring, which reminds me I gotta share the stream. Someone, sh I'm sure someone's shared it, but here, I'm gonna share it to all the people I'm sub to. See, uh, bye, Gary. Night Academia, Night Academia, Academia Aquatica says the hardcore seventeen. Bye, Cecilia. It's all good. We're back up to eighteen now. I'm not worried about it. You know, guys, I'm pretty easy going. I'm just happy that I hit twenty-seven tonight. That that was a huge surprise. And then instantly crushed when it dropped from seventy-seven to twenty-four. <laughs> but that's cool. We just hit one hour of stream time. We're about one hour and one minute now. Not that it's a big deal. It's only 12.15 or 12.16 here. For me, East Coast time. Ooh. Uh, let's see. What else? other things do I have coming? Um, I'm going to find a spot to set up a pond. Or at least the stock tank. I think that 150-gallon stock tank. I, I saw one for, uh, it's a 110, uh, but it's not made by uh, Rubbermaid. It's a different company, but it's got rave reviews. I mean, it's a cattle watering tank, and it doesn't burst. It takes a lot of pressure to for that type of vinyl or whatever plastic it is to break. So I'm gonna I'm thinking about getting that. It's only 69, 70 bucks, but that'll wait till payday. Um, so that's 110 gallons. Like so it's like an oval on the end. Um, it stand, stands uh, <clears throat> 24 inches tall. Um, or oh, sorry, it's 24 inches in depth. Uh, 54 inches long, so it'll fit right in here without overhanging my walkway, the, the little walkway I have left. <clears throat> and that's 110 gallons. That's not bad. I figure I can put turtles in there. Um, I can move the koi in there. Maybe some fancy guppies that are more of like the culls I'll put in there. Maybe that'll be my turtle tank. You know? Uh, let's see. One plus one equals fish aquatic says academic aquatica. I subbed you. Jonas Aquariums, I really want academic, uh, academia soil for my shrimps, but I don't think they sell it in Australia. Oh, you're talking the ADA soil? You probably can find it. Um, look on Amazon. You can get it, I think. Gaddis Aquatic says, How many people watch you when you, li when you live stream started live streaming? Uh, I think initially it was uh, two or four, but I was posting videos and I was watching other people's live streams. So um, it went like, uh, it was uh, somewhere between eight and 12, typically. Um, then when I started streaming like every day, it was like 20, 22, 24 consistently. Uh, but this isn't a bad way. I'm happy with whatever's here. I'll, I'll talk to people if there's only four or five in here. <coughs> Amon's Aquariums. Wow. Long time no see, brother. How are you? I hope everything is going on. Uh, is good, go, is good in your life at the moment. Uh... Academia Aquatica says, got you right back. One plus one equals up fish aquatics. You totally get the count from the Sesame Street as your thumbnail. Uh, Academically Aquatica says, Hey, I'm on, uh, Amon's Aquariums. Mark Sox Aquarium says, Hi, Amon. Long time now, see. Cecilia says, Hi. Janos Aquarium says, Cool. Thanks, Cap. Thanks for what? Sorry. My my brain's like a little squirrel. Or it's like a little a dog where it's like, Squirrel? And I totally forget what I was talking about or what I just said. Uh... One plus one equals fish aquatics. I never thought academic uh, academia aquatica. Hel hello, uh, Amon's Aquarium says hello, ac academica. Mark Jonos. I follow loud. One plus one equals fish aquatics. That was the first video to come up when uh, I searched you. 
I never thought of that. This is uh, Christian. That's funny. <coughs> All right, for uh, I'm on since he just joined. I picked up some new fish. I picked up a couple angel fish. They were sorted. One looks like a koi angel fish, or uh, it's got the markings. One looks like a mar between a marble and a koi. Um, they're about a uh, fifty cent in body size, roughly right around that fifty cent piece in size, body wise. Um, for you, I know you haven't. Uh, been around i also picked up some australian rainbows probably about a month ago at this point um i've picked up german blue rams uh quite a bit of long ago i picked up a bunch of uh neon tetras 15 of them this past weekend or last friday i think maybe saturday i can't remember at this point i picked up some ghost shrimp uh, i think i picked up 15 of those um i got a fahaka puffer coming in the mail it should be here this coming Monday. Uh, I got plants on order. Uh, fish food, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Genos Aquarium says, Hey, I'm on. Uh, Amon's Aquariums, I've been good redoing almost everything in my fish room and also started another fish breed, uh, breeding products in my basement. I'll be taking the fish, uh, <clears throat> the fish fam on a tour with me as I do it. That's awesome. I'll be looking forward to those. I'm on. Uh, Jonas Aquariums. I just found uh, Malaya soil and ADA. Thanks for the tip, Captain. Academia Aquatica says just some um, but Mons Aquariums. Mons Aquarium says wow, Australian aim ra rainbows. Those are gorgeous. You have uh, really added a lot to your collection, Captain. Yeah, I mean, the Fahaka is on its way. I have pea puffers. I have 10 more pea puffers coming. Um, I got ghost shrimp. I got. I took all the shrimp out of the 10 gallon, or all the plecos out of the 10 gallon. So um, the super red plecos, the long fin ones, are in the tank. They are breeding the 20 long on my kitchen table. I have chocolate plecos in there, some albino plecos. I have a few tanks in my uh, in my kitchen. Some other ones set up in the base room, uh, my bedroom, which uh, you guys don't see because I have them set up on the floor near my son's thing. So they're kind of hard to get to, but that's okay. Um, uh, I'm planning on picking up some of those other rainbows that uh, someone said uh, that are cool. I like how they look. Um, but I want to get the rainbows into their own 55 uh, separately. Um, I, I'm going to pick up more angels once I move the rainbows out of the 22 bow front. I'm going to pick up some more assorted angels and put them in the 22 bow front with the German blue rams. And go from there. Uh, I, like I said, also I picked up a three, down, three gallon kit where it's got you know a nice light, Aquion light. Uh, I think it's 6500K light for that little three gallon that I figure I can use as a grow out for specific fry from like the parents of my fancy guppies that i want so i mean those were only 20 bucks and i didn't think it for the price it wasn't bad so they had about four or five more i just didn't have the money otherwise i would have picked them all up and put them on the rack um probably right here this level and this lined them up temporarily uh so yeah uh fish tropics is them on Amon's Aquarium says, Fish Tropic, what's up, brother? Miss ya. Jonas Aquarium says, Yeah, there are wild Australian rainbows around some creeks here. That's awesome, Jonas. Amon's Aquarium says, Academia, thank you. I subbed you back. Uh, Amon's Aquarium says, Captain, do you still have the Oscars? Of course. You just can't see them because the logo's in the way. Hold on. Let me turn off the logo or see if I can't hide it. Um, uh, let's see. Order move to the bottom nope wrong one um order move up properties order move to the bottom there you go you can see them now i just figured everyone's seen that tank so much that it didn't matter you know um so let me actually move this down here Actually, increase its size. Oh, wrong one. Uh -oh. 
There we go. Actually, I'm just going to leave that logo down for now. Uh, let's see. Other logo. Subscribe and comment. I want to increase that. There we go. I'll just put that down there. That way people can see the tank still. Um, I still have the Oscars. The little ones are about a third of the size of the big female there. Jonas Aquarium's this, uh, Cecilia's Hobbies. What are the white fish behind you, Captain? Uh, that big white one that's swimming under the female Oscar right now. It won't show up for about 30 seconds. It's probably 14 inches. That's a koi. Um, I have two koi left in the tank because one got uh, I don't know what it did but it must have got uh, bashed out of the way and it really got banged up I tried to save it but it was too late so I lost my orange koi in there but that big 14 to 15 inch koi is in there I'm going to move the koi out of that tank the goldfish out of that tank which is swimming right there right now um, that will show up to you when, I, when you guys hear this Yeah, right. Uh, Amon's a wow. I see them back there. They've gotten huge. That female, <coughs> when she's like that, I measured with the tape measure. She's uh, roughly 14 inches in length. Then she's about two and a half, three inches wide now. Um, I mean, I've had that female in there for two years. We're almost two and a half years in that tank that I, since I set it up. We're almost two and a half years, so. Uh, let's see. Carlos, make him a long banner. Amon's Aquariums. Thanks, Jonas. Sub you back. If you, can, uh, if you put a cam on Molly's head, we could take a look at uh, fish all night. Actually, I got two little cameras coming. They're 1080p, 30 frames a second. Um, I'm also looking at a GoPro Hero, and they do make an attachment for the dog. Um, not for its head, but off the body on the side so you can see what they're seeing. But I, I think they, they make a head strap for us. So I'm wondering if I could find one that's, or customize one for Molly. That way I could just get whatever she's viewing all the time and just see what, or see what the hell she's looking at. You know what I mean? She's always checking out the fish tank. She hops up on my kitchen table, which annoys me. Because that uh, that uh, table is an old wooden table. That's probably about a, almost a, uh, just a, about 105 years old now. So I really don't want scratch marks on that. Um, I got that from my grandparents. They actually got that when they got married back in the early 1900s. Um... Or 1920s. So, I mean, that's almost a 100-year-old thing. Cecilia's hobby, that would be cool. Fish Tropic. You could put some uh, monos in that tank, Cappy. Monos? Oh, what? The 125? The, uh, a mono shrimp? I've been looking for a mono shrimp because I want them. Um, but I'm just trying to get a decent price on them. Because, uh, actually, I found them on Aquabid. Uh, I think I put a bid on them. I'm still waiting to hear back if I want on them. I think it's for a five or ten of mono shrimp. Uh, Amon's Aquariums. Wow, that's awesome, Captain. I remember when she was just a few inches. Cecilia's Hobbies. I thought they were koi. Yeah, I used to have three. Uh, well, I have two koi in there right now. So um, the big long one that you have, that's in the stream right now where you guys will see in 30 or 40 seconds. Um, like I said, is like 14 or 15 inches in length. Um, the goldfish, that scarlet goldfish, if I remember correctly, that's probably a good six or eight inches long to its tail. Um, so I got that in there. Um, fish Tropic says, and we can get her a service dog vest that says fish supervisor. Steve Foy says, hi, right, welcome, Steve Foy. Molly's a superstar. Mono Sebi. What, uh, okay, Jason, link, throw a link in the chat. I want to see a picture of it. Cecilia Hobby says that. Uh, Hobby says that sounds fun. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I 
I know Molly. I left that high fin pleco in here. I'm always, always looking for it. Um, I'll do an update on the 55 from placing it in there. I have a lot of big rock in there. And pretty much I made sure the big rock was sitting down on the glass. That way. Um, how much am I buying them for? I want to say it's 5 or 10 a mono shrimp. Um, I want to say it was 25 or 30 bucks for them. Um, and uh, with shipping, it'll be like 45 I think. Um, don't quote me. I have to look. I don't even know if I'm going to win the bid on them. I know Amano's can go for like four or five bucks a piece, so I figured ten for forty-five dollars with shipping at most fifty. That's not bad. Um, so that answers that question. Molly's looking at the plecos right now on the twenty long. Uh, let me actually check Aquabid to, or check my email to see if I won on those. Give me a second. Uh, that one. So let's go to Aquabid. Oh, Jason, did you hear me? I don't know. You've been lurking lately. I got a Fahaka puffer coming for me. Uh, it should be here next Monday. So that should be fun. So let's see my account. Uh, my bids. I don't know if I have any in there. I didn't get the. Oh, why am I going to Aquabid? I gotta go to my mail. What am I doing? Uh, Cecilia's hobby says, gotta go. I'm getting sleepy. Sweet dreams, everyone. Cecilia, thank you for stopping in. I appreciate the, the support. Amon's Aquarium says, man, it felt good to pop in. One of my favorite streams again. I got to get up early, so I got to go. You have a great night, all. Amon's, don't be a stranger. Stop by anytime. Hit me up anytime. Hit me up on Facebook uh, and stuff like that. I'm, uh, believe me, we've missed you lately. We really have. So let's see. Check that one. Let's look aqua bid. So I won three auctions on plants. Uh Some tall Anubius, a pot Geenan, another Anubius. Oh, Southern Delight. So I got that coming. Triple line bags. Uh, you've been outbid. Five dwarf pea puffers package. Big uh, fish in the tiny package. I already replied that. Oh, let's see. Jason, it just gave me the main page. Uh, so let's see, Ninja Stars, Monzo. Uh, I will do, brother. I'm about to to be fa back, very active again. Good night, uh, Steve. Four. I can't wait for Molly's day in the fish room on video. It isn't working. Laugh out loud. Yeah, it gives me. Uh, uh, it says we're sorry that species something is no longer available. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, uh, I, I that is a good thing, Fish Tropic. I'm actually looking for uh, on Facebook Marketplace to see if I can't find the GoPros Hero Five or some similar camera that can shoot in 4K. Um, uh so i'm looking to do that i mean i got two little cameras that can shoot 1080p at 30 frames a second um off some site that's where i pay shipping so i'm waiting for those to come in they should be in here in another week or two um so they can do 100 minutes of video recording so uh maybe i'll make a little velcro strap for molly's head and put one of those on it with the sd card in there and do that uh fish tropics is at this point capo have you sold any fish i've been holding off till i got the site up but if people want to pm me on facebook um whatever feel free and i'd ship fish out you know what i mean um i'm also in i'm going uh i'm actually going to take a trip um this weekend and go head down towards the Albany area. I'm going to hit up some mom and pop stores and see if they're looking for any fancy guppies and see if I can't uh, start an open line of communication with one of them and do fish for profit that way. That way I can offload some of my excessive amounts of uh, fancy guppies even if I only get 25, 50 cents a piece for them. You know, it's store credit, I don't care. That'll work out awesome. You know, I'll bring them 50, 100 fancy guppies. But I got to build that rapport with them. So I'm I'm planning on doing that this weekend, going down, checking out a couple places. Um, I'm going to call two of them tomorrow and see if they don't mind me coming down and, like, doing a, a fish store tour type thing because I've been meaning to do that. Uh, so that'll be fun. Yeah, maybe pick up some fish from a mom and pop store, you know? Oh, I was looking at the wrong one, that's why. Uh, at this point, yeah, I really haven't. Sorry, I wasn't talking. I was scrolling through my emails to make sure I didn't see anything in like the spam folder from Aquabid. Because sometimes I get emails from Aquabid, and it uh, the email comes in and says, "Oh, you won the bid or whatever, the auction," and it it doesn't show the people's information. You know, it's like it got lost in translation or dropped those packets at the time. Fifteen watching now. What what happened to all the chatters? It says fish tropic. I know you're here. Say something. Please no. <laughs> uh so let's see. So I wanna pick up some more angel fish when I move the Australian rainbows out. Just because I've liked how the cool look of angel fish. I know eventually I'm going to have to probably put them in their own separate tanks if they pair off. Because the aggression is going to be a lot more. 1 plus 1 equals fish aquatics, guys. My accounting homework bites. Uh, Pro Tim Aquatics says, yesterday was a great day for me. I got 12 more subs. Yeah, I haven't been working on uh, getting some of the other fish family subbed up to them. That's how I gained, like, in one day, 20 subs. Um... Academia Aquatics says something, laugh out loud. I am here, laugh out loud. Yeah, I know. 
Well, it says 15 people still watching on this. Um, Fish Tropic says just watching a movie, Jaws 3. Good movie. I love Jaws. Me likeies. Gaddis Aquatics tagging tonight's video. Then I'm, I'll be more active. Uh, then I'll be more active. That's fine. I understand people do other things. They're doing water changes while they're listening to me. Um, which reminds me I'm going to do another water change here tomorrow. Uh, probably on the 22 bow front. And the 20 long that's out in my kitchen. Just because I added those 15 neons and 15 ghost shrimp there. And all the extra fry. There's got to be 100 or 200 fry in that 20 long right now. Um... Uh, academic uh, academia aquaticus says one plus one equals fish aquatics i'm an accountant stick with it steve foy says going to go to work catch uh, the catch this later bye everyone one plus one equals uh fish aquatics pro tim aquatics i subbed you to uh sub you good yeah that's what i like sub uh, sub the fish fam that's that's what it's about uh so let's see Uh, one plus one equals fish aquatics. I know it's hard. You think you can help me out? Pro Tim uh, Aquatics says one plus one. Thank you. I saw also subject. Uh, Mark Sharks Aquarium says water change complete. Laugh out loud. Uh, so let's see. Green spotted puffer is brackish. Outgoing. $18. Uh, so yeah. Devon's Aquatics. Uh, so yeah. Aqua Academic Aquatica says, laugh out loud, not in chat, everyone will run away or the mods will mute us. Uh, no, no, I don't care. You guys can talk about getting subs and stuff like that. That doesn't bother me. Just as long as you're not like uh, going to broadcast your channel and say, hey, come check out my channel. Come check out my channel. Like out of the blue, you're not someone that I recognize. Uh, Mark Sarks Aquarium says, Pro Tim Aquatics thanks i got you back see i don't mind the sub for sub in the channel because we're helping out the fish fam but if an outside entity came in and said hey uh come out check my uh spicy channel out or something like that yeah definitely ban and whatever uh so let's see i gotta stop looking at aquarium fish but yeah welcome at mark yeah mark's been in here he was like he did say he was doing uh stuff Another thing I do want to breed, um, not maybe for profit, but I want to breed betas. Um, that's why I was looking at those three-gallon tanks because the complete setup for a three, uh, three, you know, a three gallons not a bad size for a beta. I mean, it's a little small. I would rather have a five or ten gallon per beta, but that takes up a lot of space and um, a lot of my tanks. I want to make them for profit type of stuff. Uh, one plus one equals fish aquatics. Don't get me wrong. I love the subject, but the homework is overwhelming. Academic, uh, academic, uh, aquatica says laugh out loud. Wait till you're working in the industry, right? Yeah, definitely. It's always different from school to actual real life. Uh. One plus one equals fish aquatics. Says, oh yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I gotta scrub down the front glass, the both front part of my uh, aquarium, because their the light is on a lot. Um, it kind of looks hazy, so there's algae growing on it, which I'm okay with. I don't mind it on the sides, but the front viewing panel uh, kind of irks me on tanks when you can't really see the fish. It's not bad. It's just a little cloudy right now, so I'll probably this. Use the mag um, glass cleaner, the mag float behind me, and just bring it in there and go sideways and clean that up. Um, like I said, I want to pick up some more German blue rams, but I got to get more tanks set up. Um, probably going to do. Uh, I don't think German blue rams need so much in height of water, like the bow front being like 22 inches tall. I don't think they need that height 
more they want the uh, space, you know, the footprint. So I figure 20 long might not be bad for them. You know, where I could put five or ten of them in there. Um, and this over filter it. Uh, so that'll be fun. And then the Australian Rainbows will go into their own 55. Academic Aquatica says, Captain, do you like bow fronts? Um, I've heard people say it distorts the view. To me, this little small bow front, I like when they're swimming because I get the different reflections because they get an LED light on it. And with the bow front, you can see they're coloring more. Um, I mean, it's I've really never had a bow front before. Um, but at PetSmart, they had like a 38 bow front for like $105 or $110. Complete setup, heater, stand, everything. And I almost bought it this weekend. But I'm thinking, where am I going to put that, you know? KG Cichlids, what's up, Kevin? How are you, buddy? Uh, not much. Mark Sarks Aquarium says, uh, Fish Tropic, are you, are they taking fish meds out of the stores around you? So, and guys, I'll be right back. I need a drink because I'm quite thirsty with all this talking. Give me one second. And look at that. We're starting to drop off because it's quarter to one in the morning. But that's okay. I expect that later at night. real quick before you get the drink so this is the little acrylic or plastic three gallon aquaion tank uh, i don't have it set up right now for obvious reasons um but these are like 20 bucks it's not a bad size it's like a little bow front on the front um got a lid got the filter for it uh i actually got the light on my 55 gallon African cichla tank. I just got a kitty corner so I can get more light in one of the corners Because um, I look like I was seeing breeding behavior of my African cichlids, so I wanted to check that out So yeah uh, Academia Academia Aquatica says Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island discuss yeah, they have a fish tropic says yeah, they have already I have the same tank I grab whatever you, I see for you my fish room collection laugh aloud shrimp tank question I was thinking of it as a shrimp tank Because three gallons isn't bad. I know You know probably for three gallons probably ten shrimp is plenty But I'm thinking more like 30 to 100 in there because I'm gonna have it heavily planted and all that Uh, Fish Tropic says, plus all that API is just what Eva meds. Mark's Arch Aquarium, Jason, uh, do you have connections? Laugh out loud. Uh, Fish Tropic says, I got a, a strong five. So let's see. Better containers. Academic Aquatic says, I got two of those for nine bucks a piece the week after Black Friday. Did you guys watch that Fluval giveaway for 2500 bucks? No, I didn't watch it, unfortunately. Uh, Fish Tropic says, Mark, what do you, what you need, man? Uh, so let's see. Let me see these small spawning boxes. I'm curious what size they are. Sorry, I'm, uh, oh, that's not bad. They're actually pretty small. 
69 uh, 699 with free shipping on Aquabid. Um, looking for one first breeding box, one airstone. So the breeding box is about a a dollar in height, so probably six or eight inches high. It looks like four or five inches wide. Oh, here we go. Eight and a half inches. Um, length by width. Uh, let me see. External size is 8.5, 7.5, 11.5. So it's 11 and a half centimeters tall, eight and a half wide, seven and a half deep centimeters wide. Good little breeding box for like fancy guppies and stuff like that, but not what I'm interested. Flu balls tripping says like Academia Aquatica. Let me see what they're selling for six to ten gallon tanks. Nothing. All right. So let's see. Flies. Let's look for 11 to 30 gallons. Fish Tropic says, pay me through PayPal and I'll ship it to you. Yeah, I mean, I'd be willing to do that. Someone pays me through PayPal if they can't get something and I'll, I'll ship them to them. I would have bought all the Fluval Seas, laugh out loud. Mark Sark's Aquarium says, I have one box of General Cure and two erythromycin and some other stuff, but I could use some more General Cure and salt. Yeah, uh, Mark's, where, Mark Sark's Aquarium, where are you located? Because you can get some off Corey's website, you know, Aquarium Co-op, you know, or if you have any big box stores, but you, I think you said around you they're getting rid of all those meds, right? I could ship you some stuff too. Buy it off of Amazon. Uh, let's see. 56 to 100 gallon tank. Nothing. 100, 100 plus gallons. 150 gallon pre drilled reef ready aquarium with extras. 800 bucks new seamless cylinder fish tank 4900 new inbox 610 gallon seamless acrylic cylinder 500 bucks let me see what that 610 gallon what that looks like uh yeah there's no pictures mark's aquarium says i'm in canada I live amisole Reminds me, I gotta get more Levamisol. Let me see. Uh, Levamisol. Thanks for reminding me, Jason. Check on Aquabid. Prozzi Pro is awesome, but expensive. Yeah, it is. There's really, there's no Levamisol. Let me check under meds. Meds. Jason, where can I get that? I have a bottle of Prozzi Pro. Yeah, you got a bunch. Order a bunch too. So let's see. Mix lots. Flake food. Filters. Medications. There we go. Let's see. Nitro Furious Green Powder. Levamisol, HCI powder, free shipping, 10 grams, 20 bucks. I don't know if that's a good price. 20 grams is 35. Let's see. Let's see. 20 grams treats 400 gallons of water, and it's 36 bucks free shipping. Back. I saw a bottle of Levamisol and I want to say it was only a hundred bucks somewhere but I know I didn't buy it I should have 
So Prozzi Quentinel powder. Free shipping. It's all by MVP on Aquabit anyway. So let's see. Dark Cycling. Methylene Blue. Copper Sulfate. Uh, MSL. 10 grams. Uh, let's see. KG Cichlid says just bought some pineapple swordtails and tetracolor granules. Why didn't I get those gra these granules before? They work great. Drop the link. What, to the meds, Jason? I can drop you the medications on Aquabid. Uh, Prozzi Quantinel Powder for 15 grams, 20 bucks, free shipping. It's all free shipping, so... 10 grams... Oh, I got the Proform C site loaded up. ProformC.com. Let me check my things because I saved the Proform C so I could go back to it and order it. Uh, let me just search on Google. Proform C. Pent Air. Proform.com official site. Oh, I don't want the fitness site. Damn it. Uh, Proform C by Proform C from Pantares.com. Uh, Fish Travic says Proform C with Prozzi and Lavam. Ooh, everything is dead. Yeah, talk about nuking a tank. Yeah, so chemical wave reform required, and I can get one quart for uh, in stock for twenty four oh nine or a gallon for sixty six dollars. Let's see what a one quart treats. One quart will treat up to twelve thousand eight hundred gallons. System three times, for use with koi only, not for fish. A uh, food fish a oh, one quart treats 3200 gallon system three times and one gallon treats a 12,800 gallon three times uh, new handler uh, england handler people are getting used to pet uh, pets meds that's why it's going to start getting harder to find cool I, i'll have to look into it tomorrow so i'm thinking i might get the quart because the quart will do 3200 gallon system three times which I don't have a 3,200 gallons worth of water even right now. So let me add that to the cart and I'm gonna actually order it right now. Check out. I might just order this big gallon bottle. Uh, cool, I'll have to look into it tomorrow. KG Cichlids, I've had, never had to use anything that harsh. Um, I'm just picking it up just in case I have to. Gaddis Aquatic says, I need to treat my guppies. Brought in Calmanus worms with a, a new male. Well, luckily for me, I have not brought in because the Pet Smart treats with Proform C and I think Live Amosol. Um, so let's do ground. Let's continue. Payment is definitely a credit card. Mastercard. 
I'll add that. So, Dub Rex 21. I think my goldfish tank is due for for a water change. Starting to smell it. Oh yeah. Usually when you can smell it, it's been due for a water change for a while. But I do a lot of my tanks by smell too. Um, Woohoo! Back up to 14 people watching. Thank you, thank you. So let's see. Don't mind me. I'm buying something, but I no. got a quantity of two i don't want that uh back back up uh shipping method billing information shipping information i just gotta go back to the cart You part. Um. KG Sixer says a dub Rexy twenty one is your routine to do a water change when you smell it. Laugh out loud. Gaddis, eek, start culling. I change by smell and by uh, and bubble breaks. TDS also. I to do by TDS also too, Jason. Dub Rex, Rex E21 every four days. I think it may be because uh, it's not an appropriate size. One plus one equals fish aquatics brine. Are you thinking about getting a reef tank? I am. Uh, KG Cichlid says use a bit of carbon to absorb that smell. Gaddis Aquatic says, laugh out loud, everything has them now in the tank. It's either treat with Lavamosol or start over. So I'm going to tr try the treatment first, definitely. I would definitely try the treatment first. Uh, you know what, so... see i'll have to look at that site later i'll do it later um use a big carbon laugh a little how to, yeah uh, i would just say hit it with a little vamosol oh uh, you know a couple treatments of that you should be good uh for anyone that's just joining uh, the fish I picked up, which I won't show on the live stream right now, um, my son wanted, first off, my son wanted uh, one of those blue Akaras, but it was 25 bucks at uh, PetSmart, and I convinced him to go with Angels. He saw the Angels, he's like, he wanted the really big ones. I was like, no, let's go with like the small quarter to 50 cent piece size ones. Um, so I picked up two of the... Uh, assorted angels they one looks like a koi and the other one looks like a marble slash koi mix um recently within the last three weeks a month i picked up uh australian rainbows five of those i picked up 15 neon tetras uh this past weekend um and uh 15 uh ghost shrimp stuff like that but i'll show them an actual uh um an actual like video that i upload like an update video type of a thing <coughs> well, let's see
KG Sickle says that uh, you would be surprised what our little rotting pellet on the edge of the lid will do when it comes to smells. One plus one equals fish aquatics. I prefer to try the treat. see gaddis aquatic says my wife wants e eb acaras they are some nice fish i think that's what electric blue acara is what it was so yeah that's what i was looking at um uh, mini wow well, let's see that's not a bad tote i'm looking on the uh pentair thing for totes i might actually just get the tote from here Florigo, one gallon. That stuff works awesome for aquaponics. Light meter. Um, ac academic, uh, academic, uh, academia Aquatica says, any suggestions for fish other than feeder goldfish for cycling in a new tank? Um, I would honestly, if uh, this put some food in there, you know, in a bag, and let it sit in there for a, a week or two and do water changes regularly and that'll build up enough waste product f to get your uh, cycle going plus academia aquatica if you have any fish tanks set up throw some sponge filters in there throw some uh, ceramic uh, media in there i always have extra media cycling in my tanks like those my sump for my 125 I have a ton of media in there that where I can literally insta cycle a tank based on all the bacteria that's growing on that stuff. Beneficial bacteria. Um, but I would suggest food. You could add ammonia right to the tank and the ammonia will be converted by the ammonia eating bacteria and then that'll be turned to what? Nitrate? Or nitrite and then nitrate. Um... Dub Rex 21, uh, Rexy 21 KG, you might be onto something there. I've recently got another brand of foods. I've been using Sierra and got some Fluval foods the other day. Not a fan of the Fluval foods, but I use it, their products. Mark Sarks Aquarium says, Academia Aquatica, start the tank with dirty media and start adding slowly. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Use some cycled media. Even like an old, like, if you got like blue bonded media that you filter or you have filter floss or something that's sitting in a tank take that and throw it in the tank because that's going to have beneficial bacteria growing on it what's up jamie mcdonald it says hey everyone sorry i'm late it's okay that's all right you know i stream late anyway so uh let's check the next page i might have to take molly out here in a minute uh, so let's see. Hydroponic bucket lid. Hydrocorn. Uh, let's see. H2O bubble counter. Oh, well, that's a nice setup rig. Uh, let's see. Shade claw. I'm all about lately. I've been, been on a big aquaponics kick. Oh, that reminds me. Once I get this tote cleared out of the last bit of plecos that are moving into different tanks, this 17 gallon tote's going up in the upper left hand corner and I'm doing above filter almost like a sump and I'm gonna grow plants out of that. That's why that light's so high um, behind me and that light will actually grow plants because you know I'll put like pothos, some ground covers and stuff like that. Um, Mark Sarks Aquarium says at Academic Aquatica bottle cycle seems to work for me also. Hi Jamie. This is Mark Sarks Aquarium. Yeah. That stuff, anything I know a lot of people think bacteria in a bottle. You know what I mean? How are they thriving in a bottle? You know? 
uh, KG6 says you can use seat camp stability in some food or pure ammonia, but you have to be careful with measurements. Just don't pee into your tank last a mile. <laughs> Asshole. <coughs> Peeing in your tank would work great. But I don't know if you want to do that. That's not a lot of ammonia. Uh, let's see. So I want to set up like aquaponics. I'm actually going to grow like cucumbers and squash. I have them. I have a, like a grow kit. I'm going to put it under that light. And then I'm going to get a full spectrum light off of uh, eBay or Amazon for fairly cheap. They're like 25 50 bucks for a cheap light setup, which I'll put above it. And I'll grow the, that stuff out of that. And then I'll have squash, cucumbers... Uh, for the plecos and other fish to eat that are more veggies. Uh, Academia, uh, Academic, uh, Academia Aquatica says, thanks for the cycling advice. Yeah. <coughs> Old, uh, media that you're currently using for a fish tank, if you're getting ready to switch the media or clean it, think about putting it in the tank. Even squeeze some of that media out in that brand new tank you're trying to set up. You know, squeeze out the, uh, um, you know, like the return to your filter, like those sponge filters. If you got sponge filters on your hang on backs, squeeze those out into the water. There's a lot of beneficial bacteria. Um, Jamie McDonald says, Hey, Mark, Dub Rexy 21 says, Capsies, uh, Capy cum, Capsies cum, Capsaicum. I don't know if that's what you're trying to say. Uh, but yeah, stop. You can wait a minute. To think I wasn't going to be able to stream tonight. I thought I was going to have to go to my uh, wife's place. So let's see. For light, uh, core fiber, hydroponic stuff, seeding transplant trays. Let's go back to one. <coughs> Cappy's come. Uh, so let's see. Let me look at these polyethylene tanks. 55 to 125 or 250 gallons. Starting at 145.99. Sorry. I'm watching the chat. 1 plus 1 equals fish aquatics. Arg. Doing homework still? Yeah. I think Molly's this bored. Because I'm talking about stuff. This stuff. Polyethylene tanks. Type 55 round, 145.99 round, no. It's a 2x2 two two window installed now. Uh, 210. So it's internal diameter is 48 by 30 inches tall. Wow, that's a big tank. 210 gallons, but that's $565. Rectangle, no, no. Mortar style. Those aren't too, too bad. But not looking like I want to. <coughs> uh, let's see. Great stream. Uh, Mara. Uh, Mark's Arcs Aquarium says, Great stream, Brian. Good night, everyone. Take it easy, Mark. I know I'm kind of looking online for stuff. Sorry. I don't mean to do that. Folly uh, filled 410 gallons to 1,000 gallons. Yeah, that's a little too big for my apartment. Um, uh, Academia Aquatica says, PNL report. Aha, ha, ha. You can cycle just fine with fish. Just keep up on your water changes every couple days, depending on the size of the tank. But people are lazy and would rather take the easiest route. KG Cichlid says, I'm, uh, I'm lazy as well. One plus one, uh, equals fish aquatics. I'm done for the night. I'll pick it back up first thing in the morning. Jonas Aquariums. Do you keep any shrimp, Captain? Yes, I have blue velvet shrimp, cherry red shrimp, snowball shrimp in that 10-gallon over there. And the guppy grass, since I cleaned off the duckweed, took like 8 or 10 scoopfuls out of there and put it in my other tanks. The guppy grass has taken off, and the shrimp breeding has picked up since I've moved the plecos out of there. Um, even though I have a female... Uh, Veiltail better in there. She's not eating enough of that. Ow! 
Jesus, dog. You bit straight onto my hand on that one. I know I'm playing with you, but ow. Uh, Jamie McDonald says, I came in late, so I don't know if, I me uh, if it was mentioned, but a mesh bag with substrate for an established tank would work uh, work in a filter. One plus one equals fish aquatics. In the meantime, I'm going to hang out in the stream until I pass out. Thanks, Christian. I appreciate that. Uh, so, let's see. Good. She finally laid down. <laughs> Jonas, uh, Jonas Aquarium says awesome beautiful shrimps yep I'm gonna actually set up more shrimp tanks believe it or not uh, that's a f future project for future day I figured I could set up like uh, I want to set up probably five shrimp tanks ten gallons or more Uh, one plus one equals fish aquatics. Jonas Aquariums, I subbed you. Uh, let's see. What type of severums are behind you? I got two green severums and a gold severum in there. Jonas Aquarium says, what plus one aquarium to sub you back to? Uh, flora micro part. Uh, flora micro. That's helpful growing. Back to the claret. Rock wool. You have to go out, Molly. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, Molly wants to go out, so I'm going to take her out. Uh, choose a volume. I don't need that much hydro corn. Lightweight clay, excellent growing medium for hydroponic system. Ah, screw it. I'll add it to the cot. Choose an option. 36 liters. That's a big bag. So you got a aquatic. So any any tips on breeding them? I have a pair. A uh, pair of what? Uh, oh, da, da, da. Let me see if I missed something. <coughs> I may have a pair. I don't know what you're talking about. A pair of what? Got aquatics. You got to remember, I have a very short attention span and. I don't remember things as well as I used to. Academia Aquatica says, yeah, I've seen a, several of those videos I was asking because I like to like the live interaction. Plus, I'm looking at my two empty tanks and getting the itch to aquascape and fill them. Academia Aquatica says, bio break. One plus one equals fish aquatics. So I'm going to make some sponge filters this summer. My dog's, uh, my dog's name's Molly too. Uh, I know what you mean, Academic Aquatica. I, li I like the live interaction as well. It's summer now in Australia. That's awesome. Let me just save this. Oh. Bookmark it. Uh, okay. Alright, now that I got the master catalog, close that. 
the Severums laugh out loud, no problem. I'm Irish Crapper too. Well, mine's a lot to do with uh, the explosion that happened while I was over in Iraq. It shook my bell pretty hard. I like literally saw stars for two, almost three weeks. Um, so since that time, I've been, uh, you know, been messed up. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the uh, Severums. Um, I know, like they'll they'll make their own little area. Just make sure you got males and females, like probably two females to one male, or three male, uh, females to one male. I don't know how that is. I would suggest checking out uh, Sergeant Tank's channel. He's bred them a lot of Severums before, so I'm not too knowledgeable on Severums per se. Uh, I just say put them in their own tank, have like a species only type tank and see what they do. And if they look like they're pairing off, you know, have kind of a loose substrate, maybe sand or a, a equal complete or if you like a planted tank, a planted substrate, something that's easy for them to dig and make their home. You know what I mean? I think they make a breeding pit and then they uh, protect it. You know, they drop the eggs and then the male fertilizes the eggs. Academia, Academia Aquatica says, KG Cichlids, the sub you can't believe I hadn't already. I see you in a lot of live streams I watch. Um, one plus one equals fish aquatic says, my three dogs' names are Ni Nimsmo, Fi, Oso. That's bear in Spanish. Oh, okay. All right, well, let me take Molly out because she's kind of being a pain right now. And I will be back. I should have just done Google Hangouts because someone could have hopped in and kept the chat going. But I will just give me a minute and I will be back. The Bearded Fitch Keeper, what's up? Uh, Gaddis Aquatic says, awesome, thanks for the tips. Uh, KG Cichlid says, I had Academic Aquatica, sub you as well. Get some footage for, of your tanks for some content. I'd like to see them. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, I will be right back. Molly's got to go. I don't blame her. It's, you know, it's 1.30. She hasn't been out since, like, 11 since I was home, and she did eat and drink a lot of water out of my pleco tanks or totes or whatever you want to call it
Okay, I'm back. Where's Captain? Dremel, uh, Dremel's rule. Uh, what's happening? Oh, uh, let's see. Academia Aquatica says laugh out right now. I, it's just my one tank and two empties. Pee break. The bitter fish keep a little YouTube before I hit the sack. Um. Out of her water tote. You could talk about, uh, about what you want to do with an empty tank. I'm sure people will watch it. Yep. Academia Aquatica says the banner photo is of my tank, but it's crap shot because I can't even edit photos laugh out loud. Uh, Academia Aquatica says, yeah, that's the plan. I'm shopping for a camera right now. Fish Tropic says I'm going to do some reselling in two weeks. Maybe I do it live laugh out loud. It would be good because people uh, would be interested in that. Use your phone. KG Cichlids, do it at Fish Tropic. The beta fish keeper, I uh, just used my phone and some LED fish tank lights that light me up. It looks great. Uh, fish Tropics, got to go pick up some foam packs. Academia Aquatica says I could do that. I have to get a transfer cord since it never lets me send videos. Fish Tropics says from the store to transfer stuff into. Hey. Uh, KG Six Lead uh, says blue spectrum on or off at the Bader Fish Keeper. KG Six Lead says laugh out loud. Uh, let's see. All oh, laugh out loud. Meow, guys. Meow. What's happening? Says the Bader Fish Keeper. I like the warm lighting. It makes me look way better. Laugh out loud. Bear Fish Keeper says laugh out loud. Uh, Bear Fish Keeper says my favorite's natural lighting, but the kids are running around screaming, yelling during the day. Yep, I hear that. Academia Aquatica says uh, afraid to take my shiny new Dremel out of its box. Laugh out loud. Can't wait till my my drone wood is dried out so I can start cleaning it up. Gaddis Aquatic says same here. I do most of my filming at night with desk lamps. The Bear Fish Keeper says, when I know I normally buy tools, they're out of the box before I get home. Academia Aquatica says, haha, yeah, but the Dremel is special. The Bear Fish Keeper looks like you have a few kids yourself. KC Cichlid says, I'm trying to make a DIY waterfall for the pond. That'll be cool. Pro Tim Aquatic says, where's Captain? I gotta take Molly out. To let her do her thing. Uh, the beta fish keeper says, "Get up, uh, get on, offer up, and try and figure a, find a giant pump for cheap." Yeah, my brother gave me two sump pumps that I forgot that are in my back of my truck. Uh, academic, uh, academic aquatica says, "Molly's pooping." The beard fish keeper says, "New pump from the store is just ridiculously priced." Yeah, my brother has two sump pumps, so I don't know why I'm getting a having a pump shipped to me I mean they're meant for when he was having a lot of water in his basement that type of issues with the rain and stuff before he got that fixed um KG6 says offer up okay cool Gaddis says what kind of flow are you looking for KG um Beard Fish Keeper says offer ups my favorite uh, favorite a lot of people flake out on Craigslist and other ones. The KG Cichlid says, I found a $50 2113 gallon per hour Aquam pump. Laugh out loud. That's not bad. KG Cichlid says, Looks like a turbo. The Bearded Feature, Bearded Feature Fish Keeper says, Offer up. Gaddis Aquatics says, Add the Bearded Fish Keeper. My kids saw you on rft and said you may your beard might be more more majestic than mine laugh out loud uh gaddis aquatics uh, sent them to, uh, them to bed early 
The bearded fish keeper says, laugh out loud. It, uh, it was pretty crazy at that point. Wow. Beard talk. Gotta love it. Oh. Uh, so, now that I'm caught up with chat. Alright, so let's see. Um... <clears throat> for anyone that just joined this stream or recently joined before I took Molly out, um, check out the description um, of this video. There is a link to a 750 sub giveaway. Uh, first place is a $25 gift card. Amazon gift card, that way anyone can use it um, that has access to Amazon. Um, the two second and third places are $10 gift cards, but... With the $25 gift card, I'm thinking maybe I'll send out a trio of uh, um, some of the fancy guppies, some of the better ones I have. And the female will probably be pregnant still. Um, with that, or offer that up, or do two trios instead of the $25 Amazon gift card, where I'll pay for shipping and all that. Um, but just comment on that video. There's a link for that video you need to comment on. Uh, if the giveaway video comment many times on it uh, like spam it that's fine this don't spam the same thing over and over otherwise YouTube will probably block the comment and I'll have a lot of comments for review and if it's just the same thing over and over I'll probably block you um, unfortunately if YouTube hasn't already done it uh, uh, fish Tropic says I find that this week's chat has a lot to do with which fish is best to breed for profit yeah well that's the kick I'm on lately Jason because I'm um, I'm in the process of setting up the website um, that way you can sell some of the plants like some of the Java moss Christmas moss I have uh, maybe some of the big part of that big Anubius that's in the 125 that's floating right now um, and other plants Plus, I want to sell some of uh, the fancy guppies I have, whether that's the sorted, like an assorted trio, or specific ones where I can ID them, 100% ID them, you know, if they're cobras or snake skins or whatever like that, and put them up. I just might, like I said, I might just do it as a sorted trio and do like 12 or 15 bucks plus whatever the shipping costs. Um, so everybody is talking about it yeah well i want to get some uh rarer species in to breed too i think that'll be interesting that's why i'm looking into betas different betas to try to breed them um and go from that like kind of like a fun what function built aquatics does they get ones that are from the wild they don't have as much color as the traditional ones but they're rarer uh they're rare uh, what is it uh, betas so that'll be interesting I just like to breed honestly I'm in a huge breeding kick so Gaddis Aquatic says gotta go folks y'all have a good one yeah take it easy Gaddis I appreciate you stopping in I appreciate all the support And as it is, um, I'm probably going to go to 2 a.m., which is in about 17 minutes, or 2.15 a.m. Uh, maybe round, make this a 2-hour and 45-minute live stream, because I'm at 2 hours and 27 minutes. Or I might just cap it off and do a full 32 minutes left. That way I get 3 hours um, for the live stream. But, you know, I've got to get up and do things in the morning. I have to search for a new vehicle because my truck is at the point where it's probably going to need a new engine. It runs fine, but it won't pass inspection on how it is. And I already had the dealership because I had to take it to the dealership because most shops around here won't take an engine down that far. So I took it to deal the dealership, uh, local Chevy dealership, and they I told them to put five or six hundred bucks. Um, you know, I'd be willing to pay up to like 600, five, 600 bucks, let them tear it down for three or four hours and see what they can find out and then have uh, enough money where they can put it back together. So that's what they did and they still couldn't find the issue. 
Um, they thought it was some of the seals might need to be replaced. That way the check engine light will go off. But, I don't know. It could be other issues. And the original place I took it to where I value, really, truly believe in the owner's thing. He said, I've had trucks where the same issue happened. And by the time we tore it down, it was just cheaper to put a new engine in it. You know? And if I'm not going to put four or five grand into a 2008 tr truck. You know, Chevy Silverado, 2008, 1500. No point. Um, so I'm seeing what I can find for like a pickup or decent sized SUV. Or I might just go back to a car. I don't know. Uh, Fish Tropic says, so what's the quickest way to make a hundred bucks? hundred dollars. Uh, I don't know. Breeding for profit, if you're talking fish stuff. Or, uh... Being on some type of live stream where you have someone donate be, uh, and they make you do weird stuff or uh, challenge stuff. But I would say breeding for profit would be probably the quickest, not quickest, quickest way. Unless you're doing fancy guppies and you're doing it for credit. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a vague question. If you're saying in the uh, fish keeping stuff, I'd say breeding. Selling plants. Um, selling dry goods. Fish Tropic says, Carlos knows a guy named Juan. Cool. I think a lot of... I, I have a, quite a few people that I know. Oh, guy named Juan. If you need a truck, laugh out loud. Yeah, right? Well, I was thinking, actually, at the Chevy dealership, I saw the Colorados. So I was thinking of stepping down to a smaller truck. I think those are V6s. So they na naturally get better ga fuel mileage. Um, but I still want it to bed because, you know, if I get some big tanks, I want to, you know, you almost need a truck, depending on the size of the tank. Even if I have a full-size cab, you know, some of the tanks are pretty wide. Like, I want to be able to fit a 75 comfortably in. And I think a 75 is, what, 18 inches wide? Almost 19 inches wide? And then whatever the height is. So if I have a crew cab on the truck... And my son's not with me. I can always throw it in there. Or if I have an SUV or a van or something like that, I can put the seats down and throw that in. Academia Aquatica says, put an ad on Craigslist advertising ways to make $100 a day. Charge $10. Charge 10 to send them a, a, a business card that says put an ad on Craigslist. Advertising is a way to make $100 a day. I see the new Colorado. Yeah, I laugh out loud. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking. I'm probably looking more like a used Colorado, maybe two, three, four years old. I want to get something new that newer, ten thousand or two thousand ten or newer. Um, I know the Colorados probably only came out a few years ago, so you know, if I get a truck, I want something with low mileage if it's used, uh, stuff like that. Just because being in the fish hobby, you need something. If you pick up a tank, like what happens if I decide to pick up a uh, a three by three cube? You know what I mean. I need to have the space to be able to put it in, put it somewhere. At least with the truck bed, I can throw it in the truck bed, strap it down, and make sure you know put you know moving uh, blankets around it to keep it safe, keep the glass safe, unless it's acrylic. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but if I'm not able to fix my truck, find an old Chevy, lift it. Yeah, I was thinking about that, Jason, but I got to be realistic. You know, if I was going to go for an old Chevy, I want it to be a diesel. That way I don't care if the engine has two, three hundred thousand miles on it. Because most diesel engines don't break into a million miles. So, depending on the diesel. Um, but diesel gas is more expensive, obviously. Even though it's less refined than regular gas. Get that. Um, but it's more expensive to fix a diesel. So, I don't know. But, yeah, back to fish stuff. So, that's what that was what's going on in real life stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I know it's breeding for profit, but I'm... Uh, El Camino, best car ever. Yeah, I know, right? I just need something for my son because... Uh, I don't want him up in the front seat yet, even though 
He's got the height and the weight now to set it, sit in the passenger seat. But, I don't know. I still don't trust the airbags, you know what I mean? I would rather have my son in the back. Uh, so, yeah. You know what I just remembered? I got some Twix and Snickers that are in my jacket pocket that I'm gonna... go i only i only buy a car now they are good on gas over two years gas gas price pays for the car itself yeah right well my mother-in-law um on that note jason my mother-in-law has a 2005 van that she got for one of her daughters that she has at her friend's dealership or whatever a small mom and pops like type dealership and she was just having it there. She wanted twenty five hundred dollars for it, and uh, she told me she'd sell it to me for two grand. Um, so I'm tempted to do that. It's only got like eighty thousand miles on it, and she she'll put new brakes in it, um, just in case I can't get my truck fixed instead of me getting pulled over, like I've been pulled over three times in my truck with uh, not having a good inspection sticker. So. I figure I might look, hit her up on that and thus pay my truck payment, park my truck in the driveway and uh, just leave it. Um, this Tropic says 15 grand buy you anything you want. Yep. Mm. Academia Aquatica says what kind of substrate do you use, Captain? Well, in the tank behind me it's a mix of play sand and uh, gravel. Um, up ranging all the way up to two and a half inch size pieces that are like rocks. Um, so I use that, but in my planted tanks, I've been using the uh, this stuff right here on my shelf, which I like because it seems to grow plants decently. The Caribbean Sea Floramax um, substrate. It's like eco complete. It will affect the pH a little bit, but that's okay. Mm. I like eco complete. I like that. Um, this summer, instead of buying substrate, I'm just going to go out to the woods or along the beach and get substrate from like a dirt beach or get loam, make my own loam, get some worms in there. I'm going to do dirt at time before I spill all that stuff all over me. I'm going to make a dirt at tank because I got one in my bedroom and the plants are going ballistic in that because there's a lot of nutrients and stuff like that and dirted stuff so I'll do that I think I might just switch to all dirted tanks for all my t like all my fish tanks because dirt's free just dig it up compost it you know what I mean um, and then I'll rinse it and put it in my tanks because dirt will have nitrogen phosphorus and potassium in it among a lot of other mitro, um, uh, you know, trace elements and stuff like that. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, 
Fish Tropics has got a 2010 Accord from auction. The thing's a ba is basic beast. Truecar.com used cars. See, my problem is I owe a lot on my truck because I didn't realize. Um, uh, yeah, Warrensburg, New York, 85,000 miles. Yeah, see, I got to make sure it has a a, like at least an extended cab on it for my son. But that looks like a pretty decent truck. Sorry, I'm checking out this link Jason sent me. Yeah, see, that would be bad, good enough for my son. I just like a full-size cab. Academia, aquatics, yeah, I like the idea of dirty tanks, but the, the gas spikes and crazy, crazy water changes freak me out. Well, you rinse the uh, dirt, rinse it heavily, spend an hour or two rinsing dirt. I figured I could rinse a couple hundred pounds of dirt in a couple hours. Um... and go from there you know um there'll be a little bit of spikes but you can do a ph test of the soil to see how alkaline or acidic it is so i'd probably try to get a soil that's like 7.2 to 7.4 um so yeah um and as long, uh, honestly i'd probably only do an inch or uh, probably like two inches of uh dirt and then mix it in with like eco complete or this floor max stuff i have that way there's you know what i mean not a bad combination of substrate but you know dirt at tanks that's the best some of the best substrate you can have Uh, let's see. So that Astro van's five grand. I would probably do my mother-in-law's van for two because I know where it's been, what it's been through. Plus, it's a southern car, and it's only seen one winter, maybe two up here. Uh, and it's not bad. It'll seat eight people, and all the seats in the back will go down. It's like they have their own storage compartment where they go down below, so... That would give me enough room to put a big tank in there, you know? Mm -hmm. I want an Astro, uh, throw a bed in it, and throw a bed in it. 40 inch TV, PS4, fishing rods, fridge, good to go. Academia, Academia Aquatica says definitely the economic way to go and plenty of plant nutrients for sure. But I flipped that for, let's see what else Jason's putting up in the chat. <laughs> A 2000 Chevy Corvette base, 25 gram. Yeah, where are you gonna put the fish tank, Jason? Well, that's where I was thinking Academia Aquatica is in a dirted substrate. You can always put a cap on it of like uh, some gravel to mix it in. 
and different rocks but you want to grow plants really well and have a decent LED light grow light on top of it that yeah Academia, uh, Academia Aquatica says Roy Royce pickup truck mic drop Fish Tropic says that vet is mint yeah it is yeah Rolls Royce uh, pickup truck yeah as long as you're footing the bill maybe when I become a real big YouTuber you know have 2 million subs or something like that 4 million subs I could afford that Rolls Royce pickup truck. I would rather spend the money, get my own house, and actually have a true fish room. Where I could have 50 or 100 tanks in the basement or throughout the house. Mm hmm. Eighty-nine Humvee. <laughs> yeah. Seven miles to the tank. Yeah, academic yeah, academia aquatica says real cheap at the drug seizure auction. Yeah, I know it could get a vehicle real cheap, but they won't let you go. A lot of times they won't let you go in the vehicles. You can open the doors and look inside of them, but you don't know what condition the engine's in, how long the vehicle sat. You know, that's my problem. Is I need a reliable vehicle, and getting them from an auction, especially a police auction for seized vehicles. I don't know if I trust them, you know? Um, Academia Aquatica says, yeah, a house with a detached fish room is the dream. Yeah, I don't know if I want a detached. I want it in the house. Unless I was building, like, a greenhouse or something like that for the fish tanks. You know, when I had a decent amount of land, then I'd put like a, then I would have like something similar to Corey where he's literally got a warehouse on his property, you know, where he has his, what, a couple hundred tanks? No, uh, fish room, no, uh, Rish. Savage Mobile. All right, let me see what this is. <laughs> Fort Polk in uh, Louisiana, 1988 AM General Humvee four-door soft top with a truck body, 4,200 bid increment, 100 bucks. Only 46,236 miles on it. Six point two liter diesel engine, haha. <laughs> four by four, seventy seven hundred pounds. Uh, submit a hold harmless agreement before scheduling pickup. No further further demilitarization required. See that would be a fun vehicle this to go. <laughs> Fish Tropic says in three years I'm gonna buy a Humvee. Academia Aquatica says Corey's down to like 12 tanks. Really? Down from 60? Really? Well, his business really has taken off too. And with all the fish room. Oh yeah, I think that's how they got that um, the real fish talk fish room or whatever. You know, the live streaming studio they cut down. A true 4x4. Four four. Yeah, and that, you know, honestly. That Humvee probably only gets like highway 12 miles to the gallon. All aluminum frame, no rust. Yep. I've ridden a lot of Humvees. I know what they're like. 
It says, I'd want hard doors on that. You know what I mean? I could just see Captain Savage Aquatics and more. No rust disc brakes. Yep. Starting bid at $4,200. And considering the mileage, but I don't know. If you guys haven't been in the military, you don't see what some of these Hummers get put through. I'd want a Hummer with the, uh, where it has the air vent for the engine, you know, up top. That way you can, like, literally drive through six feet of water. <laughs> Be underwater, yeah. Academia Aquatica says Moot Studios took the space of all the old tanks. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... I'd love to have, buy a property that has like um, almost like an older farm, which has a barn or something, and convert the barn into a barn into a big fish room. You know, that'd be awesome. You know, especially with having like well water, <laughs> I could do whatever I wanted in there. You know, I'd probably put uh, solar panels on it that way, uh, on the whole roof. You know, DIY solar panels that way I could have like you know 6,000 watts of power going to it fish tropic says there <clears throat> let's see 9,500 mileage is 1,859 miles 1999 a door hard top with slant back 6.5 liter diesel engine automatic transmission 10,300 pounds, four hard doors, slant back, tow carry body, 37 by 12, 50 R, 16 and a half, tires, no further do military, yep, nice truck, uh, nice Humvee, uh, in Georgia, Albany, Georgia, huh? One and a quarter ton. Here, I'm not even paying attention to chat. I'll have to look at that later. Thanks for the site, Jason. I'll save that or favorite that. Yeah, barn or huge greenhouse for aquaponics and uh, above the tanks. Yeah, or even below the tanks. It's kind of an old beat-up Hummer, but yeah. Uh, finding land is easy. It's dealing with local zoning. That's hard part. Well, that's where I'm, I'm in upstate New York. Land's fairly cheap or inexpensive. Um, so to find a place, uh, there's a lot of farms too. Like hobby farms and stuff that people are selling. You know, they're retiring and all that. So th that's probably what I would want to do. Um, is find like an older farm with like, uh, you know eight to ten plus acres of land uh school taxes aren't that bad decent sized house with the thing uh let's see fish tropic says vehicles are expensive where you live capo yeah they are especially up in here in the boonies i swear vehicles are a little bit more than regular retail value because they gotta truck them everywhere um but my thing is, is if I find a property, I want it to be zoned both residential and commercial. That way, if I run a business out of the, yeah, out of whatever it is, a barn. Priscilla MKR, late night folks. Yeah, how you doing, Priscilla? I I got the thing from Etsy saying that uh, that uh, photo shipped. Uh, New, Eng uh, New England Endler said. 
I'd love to have a 1978 Dodge Little Red Express for a truck. Yep. Alright guys, I'm probably going to finish the stream in like five minutes because I'll hit the three hour mark. That way I can get the, try to get some decent sleep and then get up. I'm going to be setting up this rack with some fish tanks later today. Um, slash going around to buy some more before work. And I'll let you know how that goes. I'll probably take a video. Priscilla MKR says not much. Yeah, Etsy does that automatically. Yeah, that's nice. Academia Aquatica says online camera shopping. Laugh out loud. Well, Academia Aquatica, while you're uh, shopping for cameras, get me one too. So, any last-minute questions for me? Questions about the fish room, future plans, what the new fish were that I got, anything about the giveaway, anything like that. Please let me know. Academia Aquatica says, Have a good night, Captain. Thanks for the stream and chat. Oh, definitely. Like, I've still got about four minutes left. So at 2.15, I'm going to cut it. Um, uh, Priscilla MK Art says, I just bought a Blue Yeti mic plus a Logitech Full HD webcam. Yeah, see, I got a Logitech, uh, the uh, HD 1080p at 30 frames a second, the 920C. Not a bad camera, and then I got my blue Yeti right here that you're hearing me from. I just got to get a boom for it because I'm going to put it on my computer stand and then probably have it come in from up here. Even though I know when you talk, your voice goes down. Meow. Uh, Academic Aquatic is a sure thing. You've already got two of three, though. I don't have one yet. Yep. Fish Tropic with his meow. Right, meow. Wow, 10 watching. Yeah, earlier, Priscilla, we had 27 people in here during the live stream for a brief second or two. Uh, so that was my high because my original high was 26. Uh, Fish Tropic says, Capo, the savage, the savage is real. He comes out at night and talks on the real. Please hit that like and share. Thank you, Jason. I was wondering when you were going to start up with those comments or the, you know, the little jingles. So, yeah, I mean, besides that, I mean, I'm just waiting for stuff to come in. Plants, uh, the fog, a puffer, um, and other things I build a bit on, um, on Aquabid or other places. Uh, Priscilla MK Art says nice then I'll have the same setup yeah I mean I like the blue Yeti sometimes people said it sounds tinny but it all depends on how much power and what you're plugged into I mean the USB cable that comes with the blue Yeti is 10, 10 feet long so that's more than enough room to do what you have to do and I'm going to get like a pop filter 
you know, with whatever stand I get, I'm going to get a pop filter and probably something to cover the mic like a windbreak type thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's honestly, the Blue Yeti, it hasn't steered me wrong and I've had it for uh, probably going on almost four years now. Because it had the Blue Yeti had this come out when I picked it up. Uh, Fish Tropic says, when he rubs his head, Savage is floating. To keep him around, you have to start flowing. Uh, ask and share. Remember to be pleasant and comment. Yeah, right? Are you kidding me? All right, guys. We have about 30 seconds uh, left in the stream. Um, ah, and here we go. Here comes Bracken. Hashtag Savage Float. I'll do it Saturday afternoon, so th thought... Anyone will hang out. Yeah. Barricade says, hey, y'all. Uh, Academia Aquatica says, putting it on my calendar. Yeah, I'll look at it from uh, work, um, Priscilla. If you're going to stream, um, depending on what time it is, I'll definitely come check it out. And the guys at work, I can borrow one of the, one of the guys' tablets and watch it. Uh Fish Tropic says hash bra hashtag Bracken. Bracken says, hey, Jason, what's going on? Really? Only 30 seconds? You know what? Just for you, I'll go another 15, Bracken. I'll go another 15 minutes. I'm keeping this a shorter live stream tonight because I got to get up. I got to look at a couple more dealerships or call around. Uh, Fish Tropic says hashtag Savage Inc. Going anywhere. If someone can get me on a side rant, you'll have me here for another hour or two. But I just got to be careful because, no joke, even though I haven't streamed late, I've been streaming to like 4 or 5 a.m. Even if I haven't been streaming fish stuff, I've been gaming to like 4 or 5 a.m. most of this week or 6 a.m. And then get a, a, you know, fall asleep. More beers equals all night. Yeah, I'm not drinking beer tonight. The soda. Um... It's kind of, I don't want to start at this point because if I start drinking beer, I'm going to be up late. And I want to get up and go check out dealerships to see if I can't offload my truck. Um, and go from there. Although my brother may help me out and give me the money I need um, to uh, take a big chunk off my truck so I can trade it in and get into a better car or SUV or van. Bracken says, "What? What was the previous rants?" I I have good beer, and what are you playing? World of Tanks. Uh, I do. I haven't played World of Tanks for a while, but I'll play World of Warships. Um, what's up, Catchy? Hello, Captain. On the road at the moment, but saw you online. So wanted to stop in and say hello. Well, welcome, Catchy. I appreciate that for you stopping in and showing your support. Um, so I've been live streaming Call of Duty World War II. Um, I think I got it in the description. That's my Snafu 12 channel, but I'll throw it in here. Um, the link. Copy. If it's not, for some reason, doesn't show up right. Uh... So that's to my gaming channel. And I do have a uh, Corcoran Tech and Reviews channel. Uh, Fish Tropic says, need some Call of Duty PS4. Then we can stream. Well, Jason, it would help if I had a PlayStation 4. Me, personally, if I'm going to use a PlayStation 4, like a gaming console, and do it that way, um, I'm going to plug my keyboard in and my mouse because I just don't like using a controller. Bracken says at Priscilla MKR, most cars are good now. The uh, nowadays, I play I play Black Ops Two. Uh, sad I can't join. I have Black Ops Two PC version though. I've played the original Black Ops. I actually played uh, um, the one before Black Ops came out, which was a Call of Duty series, Battlefield. I played Battlefield, Battlefield 2, all those. I, I played a lot of FPS games growing up. I played Quake. 
all those multiplayer, Doom multiplayer. Uh, back when Doom originally came out um, and played versus people doing that. Um, Hachi, don't forget to like and subscribe, share, help the fish fam grow. Uh, Priscilla MKR says she loves her Versa. My wife, or soon to be my ex-wife, um, had a Versa at one point. I thought it was a little small for my liking. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's a great car, good on gas mileage. Dry, it's a solid car that drives really well um, for being a Nissan. I would rather step up to the next bigger one, though. What is it? Uh, a Nissan Sentra, not the Versa. You know, get a little bit more space. I play on the older PS3. I have a PS3, but like I said, um, I don't like really like using the controller. Too many buttons. Where on a keyboard, I know the keyboard has more buttons than that, but I can control and do what I want to do um, much easier. Uh, Pro Tim Aquatic says my favorite was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I have that game too. I was just playing PS3, GT6, Grand Theft Auto 6 versus good. It is. It's a solid car. I, it really is. I like. I miss my Hyundai Sonata, and that's what I was gonna trade my truck into here to locally. It was a 2011 Hyundai Sonata, fully loaded leather uh, leather seats. It was like my old Sonata less mileage i think it had uh, uh right around 28 or 29,000 miles on it um you know like it was really well taken care of car but for what i owe my truck i owe like 17 grand still in my truck and unfortunately i didn't realize uh the bank has been putting the bulk of the money towards paying the interest off instead of paying the principal down Otherwise, you know, so I got to call them later today and tell them, hey, I don't care if you pay some of the interest, but you're not putting 95%, 98% of the money I'm sending you to pay the interest down. I want all the money going to uh, the principal because right now, if, say, 50% of the money based on how long I've had the loan went to the principal instead of all, almost all of it to the interest, my truck would only, I'd probably only owe 10 grand on my truck. And I could have easily moved into that Hyundai Sonata or something like that. Um, Fish Tropic says stick with Honda. I like my I like my Hyundai. I had to put like almost two hundred thousand miles on it um, when I got it, and not many problems as wear and tear items. I did have to fix the fuel pump in it, but that's one of those wear and tear. Um, Bracken says, yeah, moving from house. To key, uh, mouse and keyboard to control it is hard. It took me like three months to finally get back up to my normal skill level. Um, Fish Tropic says, I like the Nissan GC Coupe. Kachi says, Versa won't last over 100,000 miles. New Nissans are reliable, but don't buy any older one like 2009 and older. Especially don't buy an Ultima or Maxima unless it's the newest model, I think 2016. And anyone playing Assassin's Creed Origins? I, I've played it here and there because um, one of the guys I support has uh, a new Assassin's Creed game for the latest one out for his Xbox um, One. Uh, no pro. Oh. So, yeah. I mean, that's what's going on. Um. Bracken, you weren't here. Neither was Karchi. Um, I got a, some new fish recently. I don't know if you uh, you heard me talk about. I got a um, Amazon or uh, not Amazon uh, Australian rainbow fish. I've had them for about a month, but recently I picked up this like a couple days ago. I think last Sunday or Saturday I picked up. Uh, yeah, it was Saturday. I picked up fifteen neon tetras. Um, 15 ghost shrimp and I picked up two angel fish one that looks like uh, a koi angel fish and the other one looks like uh, like uh, between a uh, uh, koi f uh, angel fish and like a marbled type angel fish uh. 
Hitachi says Toyota's Lexus most reliable but costs a premium but hold value long run they are normal normally boring cars yeah my parents had Lexuses at one point that they leased through my dad's business and the Lexus you know Toyota makes Lexus or vice versa Lexus owns Toyota one of the either way but Toyota's last forever I believe me I was thinking about getting a Toyota um, the Yoda the old Toyota um, an older Toyota vehicle because they can you can beat them to hell and they'll still run Pro Tim's Aquatics, Captain's Hand, and Molly's Mouth. Big smiley face. Priscilla MKR says, I really want a Nissan Rogue, sexy, a sexy car. Fish Tropics just got an edge. Fish Tropics says, uh, Explorer is really nice. Yeah, but I'm trying to cut back on or cut my gas bill in half when I go to fuel up at the pump, if I can. I want one of the newer Tundras. Says Bracken, catchy. If buying an older car, the best deals are Hondas and Toyotas. Older Hondas rule, but are plagued with issues. Uh, last few years, Tundras are nice. Hachi kind of opposite. Nissan with Honda, with Honda. Uh, Fish Tropic says Honda. Swap engine, brand new one. Laugh out loud. Uh, Priscilla MK Art says uh, Supers are very are, are hardy too. Um, Bracken says I want to eventually get a Scion which is a sport the younger side of, the, of Toyota yeah I mean I've seen those uh, Scions but I don't know if I like the boxy look to them you know what I mean I mean honestly I just want a vehicle that's big enough it doesn't have to have a truck bed on it but preferably all wheel drive because up here you get some pretty bad snow um BR, BRZ Subaru. Yeah, those are nice. Uh, Bracken says that Priscilla MKR, my girlfriend wants a Subaru Crosstrek. Uh, Kachi says the Scion is discontinued. They rolled the same of cars over to Toyota Thought. Fish Tropics says, how, uh, Captain, how many shrimp do you have? Boo, Scion. Um, I'd have to go look, but uh, Cherry Red Shrimp, at least 20 plus in that tank. Probably more like closer to 50 and then 10 gallon and then blue velvets i know i've at least saw five or six of those but i originally got those from lucas brett's and the blue velvets were 10 um academia aquatica says laugh out loud we've descended into car talk off to bed for me have a great night everybody academia aquatica is getting back to fish talk uh, Fish Tropic says, buy a Kia, laugh out loud. Bracken says, yeah, those Scions have a lot more box, boxy or scarp look to them. Yep. Fish Tropic says, for 25 again, I can buy a Corvette. Done. Kachi says, BRZs and FRSs are the same car. It was partnership to build them. Yep. So I would say probably in that 10 gallon uh, with the overfiltration I have in there. Um... I want to say I probably got about 75 shrimp in there, Jason. Rough estimates. Uh, or an Audi. Yeah, Audis are nice. A3. Especially if you get an older Audi. They're, you know, really good quality, hold their value. But I think that's... I, I'm going to go about three more minutes just because I told Bracken I would. So that'll give me three and a quarter hours of live streaming. Um... Normally, I know I'd, I've been doing three plus, more like four plus, closer to six hour streams. The, I will get back to those. Um, but I want to stream more to the gaming channel too, so I'm going to cut my time in between the channels. Um, Kachi says, Audi equals fun power, but repairs are expensive. Yep. So, since ah, I can't even talk right now, I must be getting tired. Or it's probably because 
40 or 3 grams of sugar. The sugar is finally starting to wear off. Uh, Jonas Aquarium says, about to head off and drain my tank and refill it. Uh, it take care, Captain. The rest of you guys, with much love. Yep. Take it easy, Jonas Aquariums. Make sure if you guys haven't subbed to each other, you sub to each other. Um, it helps out the fish fam. But, all right, I got about 50 seconds left of this stream because I am cutting it. I'm not, I know I've said that before. And the next thing I know, I'm at a five to six hour live stream. I'm not doing it tonight. Um, Cola, laugh out loud. Yeah, I went for the cheap version at Aldi's. I could have gotten Coca Cola. But you know what? I don't mind these uh, colas. I mean, this was a dollar eighty-nine for a twelve-pack at all these up here. You need that Coke laugh out loud. No, what I need is a Monster Energy drink. But everywhere's closed. Huh, I'm looking at this one angel. It's. I'm not used to how angels swim, but it does seems like it's doing a little jerk, like it's having a seizure. A seizure. Uh, ah, a, a seizure. Um, but I don't know if that's how they swim. Uh, Pro Tim Aquatics says, Captain, now go to sleep. You, you are, uh, you are tired. Pro. Didn't even know Simon was absorbed back into Toyota. I didn't know that either. But all right, guys, that's the end of the stream. Um, thank you for everyone that's watched and supported the channel and the stream. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you check out the description. And anyone watching the rebroadcast, if it's your first time here, think about subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell. That way you can be notified of any new content and live streams I come out with. Um, New York Pepsi, yep. Uh, let's see. I was the angel looking at you. Uh, it's kind of this looking around. It's looking around at other things. I think the thing's trying to sleep. Or it's still get adjusting to the tank. It's only been in the 22 uh, two or, tw you know, 22 bow front for a couple days now. I will, I am going to do a water change later today. So, it seems like it's swimming fine. It does. It's weird. It like does this like jerk, like almost like it's sleeping, and it's just trying to get its bearings again when it moves. Um, I would do a water change and dose meds. I already dosed that tank because I added uh, the um, angels right to that tank. So I redose with General Cure. Um, what is it? The erythromycin. And, um, Ikex, do the trifecta. But I'm going to change the water today because it's due for a water change anyways. Um, I'm probably going to drop it 50-60%. Flukes? Um, it's not itching itself, Jason. I mean, it's been weird. It's been like... It's, it was so yeah well I did do a water change um, two days ago the day I got them yep well good night everyone um, take it easy have a wonderful day or evening or afternoon or morning Oh, he's back. Laugh out loud. Yeah, I think it was the stream. Um, maybe the streaming software was a little buggy. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a water change. But, you know, it's weird. It just does it for a split second. Mine does that during mating time. Yeah. So I don't know because that one was like investigating the heater and then the uh, tubing, airline tubing going to my DYI sponge. So, it almost looked like, honestly, the the one that looks like more of a koi kind of marbled uh, angelfish might be a male or a female. Maybe I got a male and a female that had already paired off. 
if it's a new fish i mean they are uh like you know 50 cent piece size the body itself you know with their fins they're probably more like a four inch fist of fish i just don't know when angels start breeding so maybe the smaller one that's kind of acting weird is the female you know what i mean just looking for a, a place where she wants to drop stuff um or that if it's a new fish yeah it is a new fish to me david's fish tanks blue rams appearing looking awesome take a look cheers everyone thanks for stopping in david um but unfortunately my live stream is done um unless you guys want me to keep this up and you guys can chat for a bit and i'll uh put an ending of like in a half an hour uh priscilla mkr did he spread the ventral fins when did he do that i don't know i uh, see i don't even know how to really sex uh angel fish yet but one of them is almost twice like one and a half times the size of the other one um this in comparison so one's like a 50 cent piece the other one's like a little bit bigger if you want to say that Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Pro Tim Aquatics says hello and cheers. Fish Tropics says I gotta wake up and grab my spawning mop out. See if they're eggs. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Sorry for anyone that David's fish tank says drooling. A uh, Priscilla MKR says males do that for aggression. Oh, okay. Makes sense. I'm still learning about angels. They were this kind of a uh, quick pick instead of getting a blue Akara. Um, which was kind of small, you know, for 25 bucks, but yeah, I'll look, I've been reading up and watching videos on those, so I'll show them to you. I think they're in good health. I mean, I haven't seen their poop is, hasn't been, it has been like, you know, what normal poop looks like, doesn't look like, uh, worms or anything like that, so all right but that's it for me tonight make sure you uh, if you haven't subbed to me you sub to me that's up to you P put a comment down there when this um is uh goes live you know when it uploads um and let me know what you think of this live stream if you don't like the live stream tell me why so i can improve on it otherwise take it easy have a good night make sure you check out the 750 subs giveaway Take it easy, everyone. Have a good night.